San Antonio's Sports Center. Day two of legal tampering in the NFL came and went with the Dallas Cowboys with a long snapper to show for it, and that's about it. The other team in Texans, the Houston Texans, stayed busy. They acquired Joe Mixon with a rather skillful trade. The Houston Texans appear to be winning the offseason. The regular season losers are the Spurs. They lost their second straight to the Houston Rockets, 103-101. How good do you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our quest. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now. Here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a whole bunch to talk about. It's the morning huddle here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. He is RJ Ochoa, full of piss and vinegar early this morning. Uh, the managing editor of Blogging the Boys. I'm Rob Thompson. Also, you hear that echo back there? Full of uh, P and V. And that's easy. E. Edward Hafner, who's been producing with a whip all morning long. Got a lot to do today. Uh, the NFL's uh, tampering period uh, continues. The Texans appeared to be winning the offseason. The Cowboys appear to be uh, out to lunch. Uh, not a lot going on on that side of the fence. Uh, we'll look uh, in a lot of different ways uh, there. And uh, there, see that echo? I fixed it. It was me. Um, oh, I see. Did you hear it earlier? I sounded like today I feel like the luckiest oh. man in the world how you doing this morning rj i tell you rob um i'm you know i'm in my hazmat suit i've been navigating the the waters of the internet and uh it's tough you ever see the movie evolution uh what was it orlando jones and um julian Julian moore's in it i wow you know you've usually seen these kind of obscure movies well not the reference will be lost but i've just I've, i've been waiting in the in the yuck you know what i mean and it's it's, it's been the longest two days in a while for the for the Dallas Cowboys. Boy, the sky's fallen. Uh, the the sky is on the ground. The sky is in in the ground. We we've gone past the point of falling. I mean, uh, we're gonna have to dig to find the sky at this point. It's um, and Jerry's interesting an, times. Uh, he's an absentee landlord. Is what's going on. We'll we'll talk about the Cowboys. Uh, around the rest of the league, all the running backs have found a home. Right? There's nothing left. All the top dogs. Uh, Derrick Henry was the last domino to fall, and he has provided the Baltimore Ravens with the second half of the scariest Russian combination. I'll tell you what. NFL. It could be uh, pretty impressive. Uh, the Joe Mixon arrival in Houston is worthy of consideration as well. That's Dude, a they are big on time fire game. Yeah. right now. My Texans. It, it, it's interesting to be the new kid on the block. Uh, the success uh, seems imminent. We'll just see if they can carry through. Uh, as the big name guys start to uh, slowly sli- sign their uh, near term futures away, the rubble remains. We'll look at who is the uh, early winners. We'll look at the players, not so much the teams who who has benefited by this situation they found themselves. Uh, Nick Saban it was back in the news today, and and about uh, seven forty five. You're gonna want to be here. Saban uh, is on a crusade. He's a noble guy, Rob. He is uh, that indeed. Uh, he spoke to Congress yesterday. We're going to hear from him um, about the NIL and how it's changed uh, college football. It's ruined it, Rob. It's it's ruined it. This is not the game that we all grew up with, that we all loved. <laughs> and uh, drove him out of the game. It, 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 he has an interesting take. and You know, the sad thing is when you were around for a long time, you become a remnant, a living remnant. You become an ostrich, a crocodile. You're still I, here, but uh, you're a you're a product of a different time. I don't blame any person for having a, a hard time with change. I it's agree. difficult. Any kind of change is difficult. No matter who you are, no matter what what it is, if you are accustomed to something, you know, asking for it to be different is a difficult thing in a lot of respects. I'll give you that credit, but 
you know, peeing on people and telling them it's raining is, is, is a whole different kind of struggle that I can't sign up. For. So we'll hear from him. Uh, a lot of angry post-game talk from the Spurs. Oh, and, wow. Uh, right, please. I so. bet things will really change now. Um, I, I think that uh, there's definitely film out on Victor that he is going to have to to, to deal with because – we're starting to see the scouting report. We saw it again last night, and it doesn't really matter uh, the team or or the matchups. There is a way to stop Victor, and uh, we saw it again last night. We'll talk about that. Uh, the um, it wasn't a collapse. It was a good fight till the end. I'll give them that. They they fought. Um, sure. I mean, yeah, yeah they were in it to cool, win it, cool. I, and you know that last cool, three you. minutes. It, uh, I hope nobody turned away. You hung with uh, one of the worst teams in the NBA for you know most of the game. Cool. I'll give you props. I no, guess. they're not one of the worst. Really they're them. they're fighting for playoffs. These games matter, and this was their fourth straight road win. This is a team that's playing very very well right now. And uh, you know, I'm not trying to make lemon lemonade out of lemons, but it was they played a good team that's on fire, and they fought with them till the end, even though they were down. And that's another question. There's a couple things I think we need to talk about today. Is is why does the you know the Victor Wimbanyama effect seems to be negative on the team side of the offense because they don't know how to do it. Yeah, there's lots of there's lots of culprits there. But uh, when you, we look at the numbers last night, um, Victor's were way down, and his usage was way down. His touches were way down. I'm not sure if that was on purpose or by the defense or what. Uh, but uh, the loss wasn't brutal, but it was because they were valiant in the end. Well, at least they were fighting till the end, which is something that we haven't been able to say, at least for the previous game. Around the rest of the league, uh, Kawhi Leonard got hurt last night. Yeah, I mean, never want to see anybody get hurt. No, anybody, no, no. But, anywhere. Um, it, I'm starting to, you're starting to feel it, right? You're starting to get a little steam. The NBA is starting to, starting to kind of, the games matter. We're paying attention to these uh these little tiny injuries that meant three or four games back in December and January, that didn't really matter. Now three or four games matter. Now when you're looking well, at those teams that are eighth, ninth, tenth seed with that are all separated by half a game and a breath, it matters these guys going down. It, you can feel it perking up. And and that game, they were up, what, 18? And then the, the T-Wolves, just like in the blink of an eye, you know, made it nothing and won by like 22 or whatever it was. I mean, so, um, yeah, tough times for the uh, what should be California Clippers. The uh, as the uh, rebranding continues there in Los Angeles, the Anthony Edwards and the Timberwolves took down the Clippers 118 100. We'll look around uh, all of that. There was a who who voted on the best uh, football field? Who who were the guys that voted for on this list of the best venues to go see an NFL game? It was MLB game. Oh, an MLB game, excuse me. MLB game. Uh, it was USA Today. Uh, USA Today ranked the ballparks in America. And it's and they it, have a number one. And they ranked them f- through a variety of uh, parameters. And uh, you wholeheartedly agree with their choice. I do. I mean, I'm not going to spoil it, but. No, I don't want you to. They're number one. Because I groups. found it odd. I didn't think it would be this one. Why not? Because there's so many other candidates by either uh longevity by you know aura or by uh luxury the one that won is one that's kind of like really but i get it we're gonna list and i also want i think the same question should be asked of all the other professional franchises and and leagues around the uh, united states where's the best stadiums you've been to and why is it about the history? Is it about the amenities? Is it about the food? Is it about the total cost? You know, I've had the, uh, as of you, I uh, had the ability to go see, I've been in a lot of stadiums. Um, Let's rank them. Yeah, I'm very fortunate to have been to some too, and so we can totally rank them. But I do, even though I haven't been to this one, I agree. That oh, you haven't even far. been to it? I've driven past it, but I've never seen a game here. But I was that impressed with the, you know what I saw that I'm I'm willing to I'm willing to agree here. Interesting, interesting. Um, what's for you is the most important thing when you go to a stadium? What's the first thing you're looking for? We overuse this word these days, but vibes. Like I, I want to feel transported to a different. Place. Okay, the I destination like, needs to be. A I want to feel like I'm at a at a sports theme park. 
Um, and I want I want the cliches to live up to what people talked about them. Like, I don't want to spoil anything, but like, if if I'm gonna have a Dodger dog after what I've been told about this, it better knock my socks off. You know what I'm saying? Like things like that. Like I I want I want the whole spiel. I want the whole you know kind of experience. You know, a long time ago, back in the early '90s, when uh, you know there was the '70s when baseball stadiums were built, it was all uh, everything looked like where the Cincinnati Reds played. I don't know why, but they were big in the 70s. So everybody copied not only how they did it, but the stadiums they built. So AstroTurf, and they were like these bowls and not really good looking stadiums. It was a it was a bad era. The 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 function was most important. Form really didn't matter. And uh then Baltimore opened their stadium. And this was probably early 90s, late 80s. I went the very first week that it was open. And it was such a fabulous experience to go, you know, having gone to games in the Astrodome, which, you know, had its own aura. But the fact of the matter is a dimly lit baseball stadium. I mean, it really wasn't a great venue to play the game. It was just kind of cool to be in the air conditioning in Houston. And then, or you went up to Dallas and went to Arlington Stadium at the day that, and by the end of the season, never got below 108. It was the hottest place on the planet. And I went to Baltimore for the first time, and I thought, this is what people should have been talking about all these years. This is baseball. And I've never quite experienced that since. But there's a lot of stadiums that kind of, uh, that have, you know, endeavored to match that kind of feel. Because I didn't go to Wrigley for years after that. And Wrigley is, I think, fits your idea of the vibe, right? Well, we'll see. Well, the old well I mean, the, but I'm talking about, there's the, there's the history that's built into it that is almost as important as the current team playing. That's true. I mean, well, I'm not going to give away my list. Well, I'm like not trying said, to, you know, but you could, you know, tip your hand. You're, you're you're getting really close. I mean, you know what I'm saying? We'll we'll get into it later, but this, we got a I know a big we, day. we we air our grievances on specific times and days. Uh last night a lot of San Antonians as the Spurs played on and you know, I love when a local broadcast station when Ken's picks it up, you know, it's egalitarian. It's over the air. Ain't nobody paying a penny. All you have to have is a an antenna. For those of you kids, an antenna is these metal sticks that came out of the back of TVs one time. Uh, that's all. Uh, that's all you need. Last night, unless of course you're streaming, and then you have absolutely no access to the game. The roundabout uh, NBA is hard enough to get to, uh, and as we head toward tournament time, March Madness is really going to be those that are trying to find the games to watch. You know, where have you heard about this new app, the Spoolu? That's got all it's gonna, there's gonna be one package to rule them all for sports broadcasting where ESPN and Fox and, and Hulu and all every, TV, everybody that's got some kind of live sports package will all be in one package. You heard about this? Yeah. It's, um, on, it's gonna change the world. Well, we hope, but there are some uh, problems. As there always are. bad. <laughs> we'll get into it. So here's the order of events. Stay tuned and write this down because you're going to have to hold me to it. Uh, we'll talk about the Cowboys uh, coming around a bit. And another quiet day. What can we expect as the uh, the pot begins to boil? And uh, it makes it that much more difficult on Cowboy fan as we watch Houston Texan fans revel in what an offseason is supposed to look like. New talent arriving and new excitement brewed for a, a season just around the corner. We're talking Spurs at 7 o'clock. They go down to the Rockets. Uh, there was a line from Animal House. Uh, fat, dumb, and stupid is no way to go through life, son. Uh, having no heart is no way to go through life. Uh, their uh, San Antonio Spurs. We're going to talk about what happened to the young fellas as they lost to another group of young fellas. Uh, the, the the news ain't good around the, the sports world. We'll do our very best to find some good news, like a potential running mate to an independent candidate with the last name of Kennedy. Yes, that long Kennedy line. The likes of John, Ted, Robert. Could be joined by the greatness that is Aaron Rodgers. We'll discuss the ticket that we all need to follow. Uh, that and many other things. We're glad you're with us this morning. Don't go nowhere. We got important business to discuss. This is the morning huddle. RJ's here. I'm here. Edwin's here. You might as well stay here. We'll be right back talking NFL and the inactive Dallas Cowboys right here on 941 San Antonio Sports Talk. <laughs> 
941 San Antonio Sports Star Spring Golf Classic is set Monday, March 25th at Golf Club of Texas with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Sierra Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four-person scramble, $120 per player to join, or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation, Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. What's wrong with Rick? He's kind of spacey today. That's Rick's identical twin, Scott. He's not used to answering to Rick. What's going on? Rick asked me to keep it secret, but he asked his twin to cover his shift so he could go to Diamonds Direct to shop. But this is a jewelry store. Yeah, I know. But the prices and selection are so much better at Diamonds Direct. Rick doesn't want the boss to get suspicious, so Scott's here in case the boss sees Rick at Diamonds Direct. But that would mean that the boss is at Diamonds Direct too? Yeah, we have a lot of secrets. You never know who you'll run into at Diamonds Direct. With unbeatable direct importer prices, the highest quality diamonds, the most sought after design rings, the the strongest guarantees in the industry. It's just a no brainer. You think if Scott had a mustache, would he look like me? No. Go where everyone else goes. Diamonds Direct. Your love, our passion. Well, what if I shaved? Still no. For store hours, directions, and more, go to DiamondsDirect.com. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids, or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. I am James, senior apparel designer, and this is Behind the Design with Hawks. Hawks is your classic workwear brand. It's designed for those guys that are on the job site. Just driven performance, just rugged and comfortable. Thinking of durability, everything is either double, triple stitched, bar tacked. It's build durable. It's going to perform. It's going to move with you. It's going to have everything that you need in a product. Hawks, only at Boot Barn. What's keeping you from learning the language you've always wanted to speak? Too hard. Takes too long. Not with Babbel. Babbel's interactive lessons, podcasts, games, and more make learning fun. Fun isn't hard. Right. And in 10 minutes a day, Babbel's bite-sized lessons are designed to get you having real conversations in as little as three weeks. That's not long. It's not hard. It's, it's perfect. perfect. It starts here. Go to Babbel.com to try for free. That's B-A-B-B-E-L.com. Babbel.com. People who come to Cricket stay with Cricket, just like our customer, Jaren. I'm the singer and guitarist in a band, and I use my Cricket phone for everything. It's basically like another band member. Don't miss a single beat. Switch today and get a free Samsung Galaxy A14 5G. Smile, you're on Cricket. Real customer paid for testimonial must bring your number to Cricket on up to a $60 a month voice plan depending on device. Select models only while supplies last. First month service charge and tax to its sale. Cricket 5G requires a compatible device and is not available everywhere. Fees, terms, and restrictions apply. See store for details. By texting 64,000, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages from Babbel. Message and data rates may apply. No purchase required. Terms apply. Available at babbel.com slash TNC. My new exercise bike. Yeah, <laughs> more like my $1,500 coat rack. At Babbel, we get it. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language. My Spanish starts and ends at audios. Make it easy on your yourself with Babbel. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Hola, Espanol. It starts here. To try Babbel free, text radio to 64,000. Text radio to 64,000. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning hair off my bathroom floor. At least my Swiffer Sweeper makes it easy. Sweeper heavy duty dry cloths have ultra thick pads to trap and lock hairs like a hair magnet. And when I'm finished cleaning up my hair, Sweeper takes care of his too. Now the hair is gone. All thanks to Swiffer. Try Swiffer Sweeper heavy duty dry cloths. I promise you'll love them or your money back. And also try Swiffer Sweeper wet to make quick work of tough sticky messes. What companies would you want to work for? Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, 
which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Bank of America is ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for their ongoing commitment to workers, offering best-in-class benefits, including a minimum wage of $25 an hour by 2025. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. Join Jason and Joe from The Blitz in Las Vegas, Thursday, March 28th at Circa Resort and Casino in downtown Las Vegas to celebrate the start of the season with the ceremonial first pitch by Hall of Famer Greg Maddox. Catch all the games on the Circa Las Vegas 78 million pixel screen while you feast on Coney Dogs by American Coney Dog, complimentary apple pie, and more. And oh yeah, moms, drink free. Don't miss the first day of baseball at Circa Resort and Casino. Visit CircaLasVegas.com for more information. Book your Trip now, CircaLasVegas.com. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at SASportsStar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at SASportsStar.com. It's the morning huddle, and it is just about that time. It's manic in March and we're running our own bracket go there I'd, I'd like to compete against uh the blitz I bet our crew better than the blitz I mean that picking would definitely better you know like if we had everybody sign signed up we would know oh those are brigade guys yeah as opposed to like Joe Ryan Eagle loser whatever something like that I mean, that yeah, way we right. could kind of separate out so we could prove that uh, what we already know is those on the scroll our morning brigade uh they know they know of what they speak and how do you get there ex- you may ask how do you join I such an exclusive our, club our brigade to get tattoos yeah, i think so their, but we need to come up arms. with a worthy uh thing what was the we had a saying yesterday that i, I thought might be the most appropriate for our show that felt t-shirt worthy but I, it didn't if we can't remember it today, then it probably wasn't. Uh, you want to watch us live? It's so easy to do. Go to our YouTube feed. Uh, find us on 941, The Morning Huddle. Uh, uh, and uh, you can watch us uh, every day. You can see uh, RJ wearing uh, a Bill Murray shirt. Uh, I can tell. This is not that. That's not, uh, that's not the logo? This is no laying up. Uh, okay. that's But that's not the Bill Murray logo? I thought that was. No, it looks very much like his logo. It's similar, but yeah. this is no laying up. Shout out to the NLU gang. I don't know what that is. But just they're a uh, very, mind. very popular golf uh, website, YouTube channel. Uh, you know, do they presence. sell it at Costco or Academy? No, no lingup.com. No free ads, but I mean, you know, well, they rock. That's where I do the majority of my clothing shop. The Co of Cost? Well, you know, the Co of Cost. I mean, I, if it's not out on a table, why would I want it? Right. If people aren't constantly refolding, I like, I like yeah, the seconds. poor people that follow me because a guy of my size, my pants are always on the bottom of the stack. Uh, my okay. whole life. Now, my wife is of the size, she get her shoe, she wears like, a, I don't know, it's a little tiny. Uh, she can always wear the one out on the on the display. On the display. She mm-hmm. said the, the amount of time she saved in her life by just being able to try on the display shoe instead of waiting for somebody to go nose around in the back. It's, it's like, like when days. people say, like, if you add up all the change that you find in your life, it's like $400. Maybe if the Cowboys had that, they could do something. Transition. That's well done. Hey, I mean, no, not my first time. Ting. Um, you brought it up. The Cowboys Twitter sphere, the social media world it, it is a dark and dangerous place full of terrors. And, and it, it is reaching a, a fever frenzy in Cowboy land. It, it, it is really didn't believe him i know that you didn't believe him but i also know that that the dallas cowboys have more fans than anybody and so that there were a lot of people who did believe him and all he did was put a target on their back for when they were gonna not do anything which he knew they weren't gonna do and so now the world is ridiculing them i mean they they walked they, they they set the trap and then they walked into it it's it's insanely stupid it, it's it's hard to be this incompetent, but they have found a way. Um, okay, so let's let's go to the beginning. Then before uh, we, if Jerry had not said, "Hey, we're going to be all in," would there be the same anger? 
I don't think it would be as rabid. You know, I, I, I think, you know, we would, the, the dog would be growling, but wouldn't uh-huh. quite be foaming at the mouth. And I think to say that in that moment, it, it, I think people forget, Jerry said that on January 30th, that was like 16 days removed from the playoff loss to the Green Bay Packers. I mean, when, when the fan base was at its most vulnerable state, you know what I mean? With, with just completely needing that lifeline and, and to tease them that way, knowing full tease. well, once again, what, what was not coming around the bend was cruel. And, and so, and, mm-hmm. and now when, when people are scorned, they are going to fight back. And all the things that people said, you're only giving them reason to feel. People who say after every Cowboys you know, season ending loss, I'm done. I'm checking out. I'm not going to support this team. They all come walking back. They all come running back. Right. They, they all come excited to spend their money. And I don't blame them because it's your, it's your you know, hobby, whatever you, inter- you inter- enjoy being entertained. But you are, you are just spitting in their face. I mean, and so, and that's just with how you, you talked about it. The actual action or the actual inaction, the inactivity that we're seeing is really difficult to fathom. Okay. Rob, I mean, oh, go ahead. No, I, I, that anger is spurred out of one statement. And you just said, you know, if he hadn't said all in, we'd be mad, but at least our expectations would have been set. And you set them way too high. Well, you know, Jerry's dealing with this too. And listen to what his definition is of all in might be kind of different than yours. Okay. Your definition of what is all in <laughs> and mine might not be the same thing, but I'm trying to win the games this year with my decision. First of all, this is my See, team, my decision, and all in might mean something. Okay. That's not a backtrack, but it's a backtrack. It's, it, it's co- a complete backtrack. But if the Cowboys had negotiated extensions for players on their roster, which is what I said that they would deem to be going all in this year, that's how they would walk back the line. But if they had done that, okay. You know, we, we people could sit here and complain and say, I, I wish you were going out and signing, whatever. But they would be able to say, look, man, you know, you can only do so much. And we we took care of our players. Those jerseys you already bought, you get to keep them because they're valuable. Because CeeDee Lamb ain't going anywhere. Dak Prescott ain't going anywhere. Tyron Smith is going to finish his Hall of Fame career with us, the Dallas Cowboys. And that technically, any of those things technically could still happen. But they have, this isn't an exaggeration. This isn't hyperbole. This isn't being overly dramatic. They have done nothing. They brought back their long snapper yesterday. Cool. <laughs> Like, you know what I mean? Like, hey, that's it. It matters. That's, I mean, that's the, you know, you're on a hunting trip with your friends and everybody's getting the, you know, the 18 points and the 20, and you're over here like, guys, uh, I found a puppy outside the blind. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, that's that's kind of where we're at here. And so they have done nothing. There is no, nothing. And again, that word is so important. Nothing. There is not a, sh- they have not taken one step forward they have yet to put pants on relative to this whole day what meanwhile everyone else is up they've eaten breakfast they're out at work they've accomplished things they've negotiated deals they're moving on to lunch they're moving on with their lives they're contributing to society the cowboys are doing absolutely nothing they're the only team behaving this way is that not a panic red alarm red alert defcon one situation in and of itself they're they're pacing themselves rj they're pacing themselves the the period isn't done they still have plenty of time. And maybe we should apply blame someplace else. When all things don't make sense, maybe you need to start looking for other things. Is there another reason why nothing has happened? Because this is not uncommon for Jerry, but this situation seems dire. At 7.30, we're going to look more closely at the Cowboys and maybe come up with an alternate reason as to why the Cowboys are where they are and are not doing what they're not doing. But next, as we round the bend, there's teams that are doing fine things. Uh, the Houston Texans engineered a trade for the ages. We'll talk about what the Texans have done, the new address that uh, Derek Henry has in the state of the NFL free agency just around the bend. And then at 7, 4, or 6.45, we want you to contemplate what's the be- your favorite baseball stadium to go to and why. The USA Today had a poll. They chose theirs. We want you to choose yours as we choose ours with that in mind. And hey, we're coming back, looking around the rest of the NFL. The Houston Texans are winning the offseason. 
I remember a football team in Austin that used to brag about that too, but there were no uh, conference titles or national championships about that. We'll talk about what winning in the offseason really means around the bend. Hang here. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 941 San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, guys can finally sign all those big-time contracts they agreed to in the NFL, but the free agency period continues. So you're saying it's going to be a busy day at the start? Of course. you got to get that long snapper officially signed. The buffet is open. What will the Cowboys do? Spurs, Rockets last night. We're talking about it on the Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2 on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. This March, Wendy's has some amazing deals on their hamburgers made with fresh, never frozen beef. Like a juicy Dave single for a buck and a fresh $2 Dave's double with an app offer. It's such a good deal, we wrote a little ditty about it. Get it for a buck. Dave single, Dave single, order the app. Dave single, Dave single, get it for a buck. Choose wisely, choose Wendy's official hamper or March Madness. Limited time offer. Can spend U.S. Wendy's. See offer details and redeem the Wendy's app. Account registration required. Fresh beef available in contiguous U.S. and Alaska. Find what you love. Love what you find. A total wine and more. There's so much waiting for you. Spirits and beer. Thousands of wines. Walk right through the door. It's all here to explore. With guides in the know. And prices so low. It just might blow your mind. You're gonna find what you love and love what you find. Drink responsibly, B21. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Last week after the show, a gentleman contacted Gigi and wants her to do some voiceover work in a barbecue restaurant there you go. at 2 o'clock on Sunday. I said, Gigi, you're not gonna go meet a stranger at 2 o'clock at a barbecue place. I think it's fine. No, it's not. He is gonna feed her and she is gonna show up. I know her. <laughs> <laughs> the John Clay Wolf Show, every Saturday morning. Catch the John Clay Wolf Show, Saturdays from 9 a.m. to noon, right here on San Antonio Sports Star. At L.L. Floyd, we've been a trusted partner to pros for over 30 years. With over 400 nationwide warehouses full of in-stock, job-ready inventory, you'll get what you need. And our exclusive pro pricing means that pros never pay retail. Because at L.L. Floyd, all we do is floors. So we're going to do it right. Sign up for a free pro account today to start getting pro benefits. LL Flooring. Every step covered. Get in zone. Auto zone. Welcome to Auto Zone. What are you working on today? Ah, thinking about gas mileage. A bottle of Lucas Complete Fuel Treatment can clean your system and help your engine get more MPGs. Right now, you can get two bottles for only $9.99. A great deal to help you go a great deal farther. Find Lucas Complete Fuel Treatment and everything you need for better fuel efficiency at any one of our 6,300 stores. Get in the zone, auto zone. Restrictions apply. The St. Paddy's Day parties at the Roop Up are legendary, and this year it will be the biggest St. Patrick's Day party ever. With the green beer flowing, it will be an all-day party with drink specials, live music with three bands on the outdoor stage, and DJs and college hoops inside at both the Roop Hub and Angry Elephant. Sunday, March 17th, starting at 11 a.m. It's an all-day party, and this year is going to be bigger and better than ever before. So plan now for St. Patrick's Day at the Roop Hub and Angry Elephant, 281 in Redland Road. The most common form of treatment for the arthritic joints is normally cortisone injections and gel shots and over-the-counter medications. And most patients have tried all of that and are still in pain. Every day, Dr. Aaron Wolkoff, a QC Kinetics medical director, meets patients who have exhausted every method to get relief. They've been told surgery is their only option. They want to stay away from that path, and they come to us almost as the last hope. So we're using our own body's properties to help help manage pain, to help slow arthritis down, keep the patient active with no downtime and getting back to what they enjoy doing. I mean, I love what I do. QC Kinetics regenerative treatments from our board certified providers help heal and restore aching joints. No surgery, harmful drugs or downtime. Call for your free consultation today. Call QC Kinetics 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. 210 210- 
888-532-0318. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roo Pub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. eBay Motors is here for the ride. Go ahead, feel your engine. Admire that perfectly installed exhaust. Your vehicle's moving along this freeway like it was made from fresh installs and a whole lot of love. With eBay Motors, you get over 122 million parts to keep it running. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, they'll be the perfect fit every time. Plus, at these prices, well, we're burning rubber, not cash. Keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply. Hi, I'm Kamiko, the founder of Miko's Hot Chicken. When we started our family restaurant, we were also raising a family. But let me tell you, it wasn't easy. Our Chase Inc. car was there to reward us on all of our business needs. Now we have a thriving location, and we're hungry for more. With the Chase Inc. Business Unlimited card, you can earn unlimited 1.5% cash back on every purchase, so your business can go from here to possible. Chase for business. Make more with yours. Real business owners compensated for their participation. Cards issued by J.P. Morgan Chase Bank and a member of FDIC. Subject to credit approval. Terms apply. The NFL is on 94-1, San Antonio Sports Star. It is indeed the gift that keeps on giving. I'm speaking, of course, of RJ Ochoa. Uh, welcome on to the morning huddle. We're glad you're here. Make sure you're watching us and uh, putting a thumb on it and getting on the brigade and doing all the appropriate stuff. Uh, if you want to play golf with us, you are running out of room. I got an email last night uh, uh, from Morgan, our uh, one of the suits around here. Uh, we're down to 13 individual spots. You can do the math. That's three teams plus one. Uh, the fact of the matter is, Ideally, we have a bunch of singles sign up right now, but we're running. Uh, we're going to be full by the end of the week. So, if you want to play, you got to go to sasportstar.com. The link's right there. Get yourself signed up. If you got your foursome, you'll save yourself a little bit of money. Uh, but if you're an individual and you've been holding back, afraid that you would be put on a lousy team, or you know, we don't slot you well. The more individuals that sign up, the easier it'll be to do just that to get you on a team that's appropriate. So don't lie. Put your uh, true stuff on there and get yourself signed up post. Hey, so you can play with us. We'll be out at the uh, Golf Club of Texas. It is going to be awesome as we do awesome things. Um, March, uh, just what, two weeks away? Uh, just a little over uh, under two weeks away. So we're well ahead of schedule to be full. We want to thank uh, Flight by Yingling and Sarah.com. Uh, just to name a few, we're going to have a uh, post uh golf uh getaway uh there at 90 proof bar and grill that's on the corner of highway 90 and lucky ranch it's just a couple of minutes from the golf club of texas a place to go afterwards uh you know what i'm saying rj is you've had enough warning uh be there and hang out with all the the cool guys and and we'll we'll, we'll come along with them okay i'm down it's it's fun watching success after failure from uh from uh you know uh, other in other schools, other franchises, other professional organizations. When you watch on the outside and you really don't have a uh, more than a rooting interest in a franchise, it's fun to watch them get good. And watching the Houston Texans get good and then do things well, it puts me in the mind of, and I certainly was not rooting for it, but this feels very much like what Philadelphia did a couple of years ago. How they, you know, they drafted the right quarterback. They knew they had the right quarterback. And everything they did afterwards was to put that quarterback in the best possible situation they could. And uh, while they haven't gotten a Super Bowl out of it, they certainly have been successful. And I am, I'm a huge fan of Howard They Rose. did get one. Well, the, they did get that was That was mostly as a I'm result not of the, that one, though. I'm counting the, the Jalen Hurts period. 
No, but to your point, I mean, the same phenomenon happened with Carson Wentz. You're right. I mean, okay, you was, know what? They've was, actually when... duplicated it. You're right, and, and I discounted yeah. that. But watching what the Houston Texans are doing, looks like they're doing the same things in the so, same ways. This time of year, the poo-pooers of free agency note how you shouldn't overpay and how every, you know, a, a car depreciates in value the moment you drive it off the lot kind of thing. You are overpaying. Like, that's that's the reality of free agency. But you know who has the luxury of being able to overpay? Teams who have quarterbacks on rookie contracts. And if you overpay and the players work out for you, you determine the worth of it. You know, like, no one's going to sit here if the players are valuable to you and say, well, yeah, but, you know, you overpaid by 4%. So, you know, really, you're the loser. You know what I mean? No, if if the deal works out, the player's great, then then that's all that matters. And it's really refreshing to see the Texans understand we have the quarterback. He's on the rookie contract. We have a finite window of time to go at this this way. Let's be really smart. Let's be really aggressive. I know that you're a big fan of the Joe Mixon trade. Uh, the that's Neil the, Hunter okay, because what I was talking about was, you know, getting the right free agents, diving into the market, paying appropriately and getting guys that fit, and doing all those kind of things. And then the then there's the deal to go get Joe Mixon. I mean, then there's the next level thing. And that, what they managed to do yesterday, uh, to get a, a player of his ilk at the dollar value they got because of the trade, uh, that was uh, that's borderline genius. It really was well well done. I'm not disagreeing that the Texans deserve their flowers, but that's not the move that I'm impressed really? by. You're looking no, at I the D lineman. It's, it's smart, obviously, to pay a seventh round draft pick and and not allow him to hit free agency, right? Because then you don't have to bet ag- or bid right. against the open market. But I think the true geniuses there are the Bengals. I mean, the Bengals wound up getting something for a player that they were prepared to cut. True, you know true. What I'm, saying? So, I'm not. I'm so, not. Maybe on both sides of this, but to land Joe Mixon sorry. at below market, I thought was genius on top was, of everything was, else they've done. It was capitalizing on on the situation. I completely agree with that. And it left them not in the cold. I know a lot of Texans fans wanted Saquon or Derrick Henry, whatever. They didn't get them, but they got an established veteran running back to obviously another Damian Pierce is like in the doghouse or whatever. But the Daniil Hunter deal, two years, yeah. $49 million. The deal. Um, I mean, now you have him and Will Anderson and Malik Collins is underrated. Like, I mean, the, the Texans, D'Amico Ryans is cooking or going to be cooking pretty mm-hmm. soon. And from a, a secondary standpoint, they obviously brought Lonnie Johnson back. Uh, they brought Desmond King back. They signed Jeff Okuda, which isn't like a big deal. I like um, Okuda. But, some, but somebody with a high pedigree, mm-hmm. you're not asking him to be amazing. You're not asking. You have Derek Stingley. You know, you, right. you're, you have, you know, you you have Steve Nelson. Like, you you don't, you're not asking him to come be the savior for you the way that, that Detroit was or even Atlanta was. And so, like, I like getting these high pedigree players that turn into potential lottery picks for you. Yes, they overpaid for Dalton Schultz. I still think he's one of the better tight ends in the NFL, but you can overpay. Like, again, n- nobody cares mm-hmm. that they're overpaying because they have the surplus of room in the budget. And so good for them. I mean, the whole AFC South is getting really interesting, to be honest. We'll see if the Jaguars are able to retain Calvin Ridley. I don't know if you're uh, up on the uh, the weird dance or the weird line that the Jaguars are trying to dance today, but uh, but the Colts have been aggressive as well. The Titans have been really aggressive as they begin a new era. This is this division is a lot of fun. Although I do think it's Houston's to lose, uh, as they have moved appropriately. And you're right. Um, I am interested in Jacksonville. We're going to talk about that later. But coming up, uh, all right, baseball fan, this isn't about your team. This is about the stadium. Where's the best professional Major League Baseball stadium located? USA Today tells us theirs. You tell us yours. You can do that six five six three seven seven six. You can get on the scroll. By going to our feed, our uh, wonderful YouTube channel, however you go, go. We'll be right back talking baseball stadiums. This is a good one uh, here on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. If you miss the Blitz with Jason and Joe, then you miss this. Jareen Williams from Pro Football Talk joining us. A wild, crazy, busy couple of days for the Cowboys up there at the Star. <laughs> Expect something maybe next week, that second or third round of free agents, just like always. Nothing nothing has changed since Brandon Carr and that sign of the first day of free agency at $50.1 million. You all know, remember it well. That's the last time that they've really been active in free agency. The next year they've changed their MO, and now they've gone to let's draft well and let's reward the players on our own team. And 
And we'll let guys go and we'll build with replacements around the core that we have drafted and, and signed a second contract. So that's how they operate. This theory all in thing was a farce from the beginning. Right home with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6 on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. Imagine getting ahead of your irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC by treating it with Linzess. Then you could start proactively managing your constipation with belly pain and get ahead of your symptoms. Talk to your doctor about Linzess, linaclotide. Linzess is a prescription medicine that treats IBSC in adults. It's not a laxative. It's a once daily pill that helps you get ahead of your symptoms. It's proven to help you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than two. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. What could relief from IBSC mean for you? Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Learn more at Linzess.com or call 1-800-L-I-N-Z-E-S-S. Guys, did you know your testosterone affects everything in your system, including how you feel and perform every day? Right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. Knowing your T levels is the first step in understanding if you have low T. Your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED. Maintaining an appropriate T level can change your whole life. Most men start to see changes in their hormone levels in their 30s. Experience and results matter. So what are you waiting for? Get your T-levels checked today by local, experienced, and trusted men's health experts. They've helped thousands of men since 2011. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Call Revive today and schedule your free testosterone test, free exam, and free consultation. Call Revive Men's Health at 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Planning for spring at Lowe's means big savings on outdoor power equipment. And Lowe's knows nothing feels better than free. Buy one select Ego string trimmer, leaf blower, or mower kit. Get one select 56-volt battery free. That's up to a $299 value. Power through spring with Ego, the number one rated brand in cordless outdoor power. Because Lowe's knows home improvement. Valid through 43 while supplies last. Selection varies by location. Are you over 30 and putting off life insurance? It's time to get a quick quote from Ethos, a better, easier way to get term life insurance, all online with no medical exam. Answer a few health questions and you could be approved for up to $2 million. Isn't it worth 10 minutes to help protect your family's financial security? Ethos, up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at checkethos.com. That's checkethos.com. Twin Peaks is the best in the game. Here, it's bigger game days and bolder fight nights. I mean, where else can you find a scratch kitchen that always comes in clutch? Every day, from lunch to late night. Only at Twin Peaks, the number one sports bar. Get to Twin Peaks for their beer-battered fish and chips. This beer-battered cod is served with house-made tartar, malt vinegar, and french fries, and score them along with a 22-ounce Miller Lighter Coors Light for just $12. That's every Friday through Easter. Twin Peaks! When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Florida offers. And when the madness starts in Cinderella, man steps under the... BetUS always has your back with... To back to back 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits and even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Join today. BetUS Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at SASportsStar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at SASportsStar.com. That's the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. The Blitz is packing their bags and going to Vegas. That's right. As the Sweet 16 turns around the corner here on March the 28th, the Blitz will be live at the Circa 
uh, resort and hotel there in Las Vegas. Go with them. It's easy to. Uh, we've got a link set up at sasportstar.com. You click on it, you get 20% off. Use the code, the code MINIX20 to do that. Uh, if you haven't heard of Circa, they've got the giant pool, the uh, sports books outside. Awesome. It's also opening weekend. Greg Maddox is going to be at the Circa, too, uh, at their big book on that first pitch. It, it's uh, going to be a fun weekend. Uh, we want you to come with the Blitz and uh, have a good one. You going, RJ? I'm not. No. But it is going to be a fun weekend. It's a great time of year, a couple weeks from now, obviously. The tournament's in full swing. Obviously, opening weekend. NBA playoffs starting to come around the bend-ish. I mean, we're on the way. Uh, speaking of... Um... I'll be with Jason Minix uh, on the Blitz on Friday out at the Roop Up. I've done a few shows out there. It'd be good to see the folks out at the Roop. Uh, that's uh, Friday Blitz Live out there. Doing the things they do. It's St. Patty's Day weekend. And I screwed up and I put on a green shirt today. Is, I only have like two green shirts. I, this should have been my Saturday apparel. But I am. Friday. Or Friday apparel. I'm going to get pinched. What wow, is your favorite fair. baseball stadium to go to apart from our beautiful to go to would be minute made um just from uh yeah it's got a great feel of of all it's a fun stadium it's a good stadium it is it's Um, not a bad stadium the the best ballpark in america is pnc park and you say that i i have not been there and when you ask me where the best stadiums are and you go pnc first of all you go that's pittsburgh right google an image i promise it's pretty i guess it looks gorgeous on like a perfect spring day where it's, there's just a, a crisp of coolness in there. You could tell that this would just slap. I mean, I would also offer, I don't know the name. I think it's uh, at t something. The San Francisco Giants. Yeah, stadium. I've been to that one. That that counts. And that, it lost points uh, because I've been there and nearly froze to death. <laughs> so Coldest winter of my life. I'm telling you, it, it is it is cold right off the water there, but. Uh, it is one of the prettier stadiums, especially as you pull up to it and you see it set off against the water. It, it, it is Oracle Park. Yeah, I Oracle wrong is something the... else. Uh, my favorite this looks gorgeous. The, my favorite stadium is also kind of like the uh, the Pittsburgh choice. I love going to Safeco in Seattle. There's just something about that stadium. The weather, uh, the food is interesting. Uh, that I've always had. I've I've been to two games at Safeco and several years apart. And oh, I had the best time at both of them. I haven't been in, uh, to a, several of them, but uh, that would be if I had to pick one. And the obvious ones, of course, Wrigley was ex- everything I expected it to be, though my experience was the strangest baseball experience of my life happened at Wrigley, which is worthy of telling at another time. And Fenway is legendary. And as we were preparing for this, you, I, it's I don't want to denigrate. Mean, it's historical, but it, okay. I mean, when you when I've toured it, you when you do that, you're like, oh, this is definitely a hundred years old. Oh yeah, you know it's, a I mean? dump. Like, <laughs> it's a dump. It's a dump. That's part of the allure. I mean, it's fine, but um, we went and saw actually the Astros play the Dodgers in L.A. seven years ago when we were there for camp. Has it been that long? And, yeah. yeah, yeah, and uh, it was their first uh, uh, return since the World Series, and it was in Verlander was on the mound. It was great, and it was cool. Yeah, Chavez uh, Ravine. Yeah, it did feel a little Disneyland ish, and the Dodger dog stunk. Like, let down. Was, yeah. Utter and complete let down. What are your choices? The best baseball stadium in the major leagues, and we could up the ante. What's the favorite stadium to go to? Because I think uh Cowboy fan might have it there. Jerry World is indeed a palace. Coming back, the Spurs are at home. It don't matter. They lose. Uh, we'll look at how that went and look down the road at this long road stand continues see if they can get back it right around the bend we're glad you're with us this morning this is 94 one and you're hanging in the huddle we'll be right back ktfm floorsville this is 94 one san antonio sports star your home for the aggies and now another no-brainer money saving tip from progressive it looks like your luggage is over 50 pounds. Is there anything you can take out? Oh, yeah. Let me just toss all these $20 bills. Great. Let me grab you a trash can. Stop. Instead of throwing money away, move some clothes into a carry-on. 
And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. Hey, what are you doing up on the step stool? About to clean these light fixtures. The whole family's coming over. And if there's even a speck of dust in the house, my abuela will find it. Here, I got a Swiffer duster to help with that. A Swiffer what? A Swiffer duster. It has this cool extendable handle that reaches six feet to get high and low with fluffy dusters that easily trap and lock dust. So no more step stool? No more step stool. Easily trap and lock dust from hard to reach places with the Swiffer duster. Love it or your money back. The way the NBA season is going in San Antonio, you need to find a way to add excitement to watching those games. Jason Minix here from the Blitz. The way to do that is by playing at Underdog at Fantasy. Go download the Underdog Fantasy app and start playing the Pick'em game, where you pick between two and five players from at least two different teams. Select whether they will be higher or lower on stats, and if your picks hit, you can win up to 100 times your money. It is fantasy, but legal in Texas. So download the Underdog Fantasy app or go to underdogfantasy.com sign up use my promo code star and underdog will match your first deposit up to 100 plus they'll give you a mystery special pick to use on your first pick of entry must be over 18 and present in a state where underdog fantasy operates terms apply concerned with your play call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit ncpgambling.org again promo code star at underdogfantasy.com by texting 64,000, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages from Babbel. Message and data rates may apply. No purchase required. Terms apply. Available at babbel.com slash TNC. My new exercise bike. Yeah, more like my $1,500 coat rack. At Babbel, we get it. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language. My Spanish starts and ends at audios. Make it easy on yourself with Babbel. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Hola, Espanol. It starts here. To try Babbel free, text RADIO to 64,000. Text RADIO to 64,000. At Target, our prices for Easter are so low, you can put all your eggs in one basket. Surprise them with Target-exclusive favorite day treats, like our unique chocolate bunny and a cute basket, all from just $4. Add in some fun with a six-pack of bubbles, 50-piece sidewalk chalk, and super soft stuffed animals, all from $5. And get great family pics with new Easter looks. It's easy with women's and girls' dresses for only $20 and under. Low prices on everything for Easter? Now that's Target. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. Have pain? Have chronic pain? Low back pain, knee pain, neck pain, or shoulder pain, I can help. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, and we get to the root of your pain. We don't just give pain medications. We do the proper investigation to see what is the root cause, and it's covered by your insurance. Reduce your medication, avoid surgery, and get rid of pain for good. Call for your free evaluation. I'm Dr. Torres at the Institute for Functional Health, where we get to the root cause of your problem. 210-468-1891. The Ultimate March Hoops experience is in downtown Las Vegas. Don't miss out on Mega March at Stadium Swim at Circa Resort and Casino. There's no better place to take in the action than in the six pools at Circa with their 143-foot screen. Experience the game's poolside with various seating options. No matter the size of your group, Stadium Swim is the place to be. Find all the Stadium Swim options at CircaLasVegas.com and join Jason and Joe from the Blitz for Mega March at Circa Resort and Casino. Book now at CircaLasVegas.com. San Antonio's Sports Star. San Antonio's Sports Center. 
Day two of the legal tampering period in the NFL came and went with the Cowboys not doing much. They've added or at least maintained their deep snapper. Nothing else to add. The Houston Texans stayed busy uh, picking up Joe Mixon in a trade. They now have their RB1. The San Antonio Spurs lost to the Houston Rockets 103-101. Valiant in the end, the Wimby didn't score much. Sports Center is brought to you by Byers Barricades, the Texas Authority in Barricade Rental. BuyersBarricades.com. Rembin Yama's ready. Goes behind the back here. Oh, little sidestep and a jam by Wimbin Yama. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and RJ. Hey, gather around. There's a lot to talk about. Welcome on the morning huddle. Don't mind them brake lights. We'll get you where you're going. That's RJ. I'm Rob. This is the morning huddle. Um, I was told yesterday, I, you know, locked up in this booth as we are uh, every morning. You know, we, we sprung forward. Today was a little bit easier getting up. It's, it's getting easier every minute, but every day. But the rest of the morning, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, but I remember when I was a normal person and worked a normal schedule that it's, it's now dark really late in the morning now, isn't it? Like 7, 30, 8, it's still dark. I'm not sure what's more disconcerting. Scene. The early morning that stays dark that or the early darkness in the middle of the winter. So it's only 7.04, uh, so not quite 7.38, but it is dark. Uh, dark. Yeah, that's the way things go. Are you a fan of having sprung forward now that your body's adjusted? No, I hate it. This is, I feel like I'm permanently jet-lagged for about two weeks. I never feel like I've gotten enough in or sleep, both. Because it really, no. you know, as far as the mornings go, um, early is early. But it, it's the evenings that I'm thrown off. I'm eating. I'm not hungry at the right time, so I'm eating later. And when I eat later, you know, depending on what I eat, it, it could be a joyride of a dreamscape <laughs> later in the evening. And you know that also affects your caffeine intake. And when you're trying to get to sleep early, it's just, it's the evenings that are more disconcerting than the, than the uh, alarm clock in the morning. I suppose because you uh, you feel behind. Yeah, you always. Like I I have I only have so much time to squeeze in all these things. Whereas in the, the beginning of the day. It's a blank canvas. You can do whatever you want. Carpe the deal. All your dreams are in front of you. Wow, that's uh, that's. I'm really fired up. Uh, Spurs yeah. last night uh, played played a, a competitive basketball game. That's a, that's about as much credit we should give them. They were at least competitive all the way through and had themselves in a position to win it and might have actually pulled things out, uh, but for a couple of uh, strange plays. I, I don't know why the decision was made for Jeremy Sohan to take that. La that late three that would have tied it uh, of all the guys on the court, probably the least likely uh, to make it. Devin three. took one that would have won it. Yeah, De but you know that one. I'm not going to question. I'm not. I'm not mad. Agree, yeah. it, that was that was the appropriate one. But there was one a little bit earlier. Um, Wimby was. Um, well, Wimby's been scouted. We got to just say it. There is film on Wimby, and the way that you defend him. Is put somebody on a little bit smaller than he is. He doesn't. You don't have to be tall, but you got to be strong, and just get in there and muscle him all game long. And Wimby hasn't been been able to figure out how to extricate himself from anybody who decides to play a little bit of Velcro defense. And uh, we saw it with Dylan Brooks yesterday, and we saw it with Sabonis before. We, we we've seen some guys defend him, and um, last night showed it. Now he it, Wimby did other things. Did you see uh, there was a crossover bounce pass down the lane in the uh, first quarter that was one of the more ridiculous bits of highlights that Wimby has had all season long? It, he yes, shook De but... Dellen Brooks, shook him, ball faked him, shook him, cracked ankles. A 7'5 dude just did that and then bounced yes. past to Trey for a layup. Beautiful. And I know this, that this is not what you're doing, but we've got to stop like just finding the the like the one Wemby, oh my gosh, Super Saiyan highlight and overlooking the rest. Again, I know that's no, not I, what you're No, doing. what I'm getting at is uh, he tried to offer more because I think he sees what's happening. And there, there's a broader discussion that I think we need to have about the future of Wemby and what, what he's going to be. Uh, but right now, uh, I think the Spurs lost last night 
because one, the Houston Rockets defend the Spurs as good as anybody in the league. And that's not saying a whole lot, but the Spurs always have trouble with Houston. Um, one, I think that that w- was one of the, the issues last night. And, uh, well, we'll just leave it. I, I think that was the primary issue. We'll address the things as they do move along. Uh, Post game was not a pretty place for the Spurs because, you know, you hate to walk out of a locker room thinking you you actually had an opportunity. Uh, Wimby, when asked um, how the Rockets played him, uh, talked about the physicality that the Rockets brought to the game. The, the physicality, the energy. It's every night, uh, every night a challenge. But uh, this is a very, you know, aggressive team defensively. So this is the was hard. <laughs> It was hard. So, Wendy, I think is is experience. This is he's hit the wall. I think there right? might be is something it? to that, RJ. I think we are coming to a point where he's he's in a physical place where he's never been before. Yeah, and and not hit the like proverbial rookie wall of ceiling on production limits, but just the wall of being tired. Like we we were talking a minute ago about like you know being exhausted, if, you know, in the mornings or whatever, like. There comes a time where you're just like going through the, the physical mode. His work just happens to be, you know, being one of the best basketball players in the world. Last three games, um, obviously, I know a lot of people like to look at last five, but last three games uh, is the Houston sandwich right. with uh, with the Golden State game in between, the the one that we lost. Um, the first one obviously got kind of worked. Had a minus twelve, plus minus minus one against the Dubs, and then had a, a plus five last night. Um, still rebounding well. But the three ball has really gone away. So uh-huh. he entered this three game stretch coming off going five for seven against Oklahoma City and six of seven against Indiana um, against Indiana. Um, but I'm sorry. Yeah. Five, five of seven and three of four. Not three, so was, I read free throw lines. So he was over 70 percent, 71 percent and 75 percent from beyond the arc in those two games. And then. Two of five against the Rockets the first time around. Three of nine against the Warriors. Two of seven last night. I mean. When you're not, you know, making them from downtown, now you're, you're if you're if you are tired, you're having to do a lot more work in the pain and grind those points out, and it just kind of makes sense for him to start wearing down a little bit. Uh, and that's going to be one of the fundamental questions I think the Spurs are going to have to to deal with over the near future is, you know, we're watching how the NBA at least now has decided to defend him, that they're going to you know muscle him, they're going to you know be very physical with him. And the obvious things, the, the double team's always going to be quick to come from the weak side, but it's the physicality that he's going to have to get used to. So to address that, d- does his crew that involves, you know, his physiotherapist and chef and all that, and looking at his frame, are they going to decide maybe he does need just a little bit more weight to kind of get him through the wear and tear of the way that this game is going to be physical? And do they address it immediately? Or do you look at him like he's a 20-year-old guy and uh, the big difference between a 20 year old and a 24 year old is that your metabolism changes, man. It just does. And he's going to put on weight just because he's aging. And do you wait on that? But if you wait on that and, you know, don't push the weights and, and, you know, actively try to put on the pounds, um, he's going to suffer physically. He's going to get the, he's going to look tired and ba- battered because he's going through a boxing match. Now he's taking shots to the ribs in the middle of the game. He's, he's getting leaned on constantly. And, and that, that is the wear and tear of the, the basketball season that you don't notice. The, 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 just the things you got to do now when that's the way they want to defend you. When before, yeah, it's a lot of fun running off curbs, uh, picks, and not getting hit very hard and taking fadeaway threes. Um, it's not nearly as physically taxing as it is having a Dylan Brooks leaning on you for 20 minutes a night. I agree with you, obviously. And if you have hopes like we do for the Spurs to be playing – deep into the postseason in the future, that's going to change really quickly, right? Like we talk about a lot of things that have to change for the Spurs to be a playoff team next year, challenging for the playoffs. Well, th- this is among those things. I mean, it's, it's all, you know, last night was March 12th. You know, you can't be wearing down this badly then. And I think it makes, if somebody was confused why he needed the time off last week, makes it a little bit more obvious. Like when you, when you start to put together all of the pieces of the puzzle, right. it's really clear that he's not exactly, um, you know, in his best physical space. When do you think was the last moment that the Spurs held a positive win probability in this game? Hey, uh, middle, middle of the, uh, gosh, because they were behind a lot. I mean, it wasn't, 
They gave it up in the middle of the third. I'd, I'd say uh, eight minutes of the third. Nine oh, man, I third. thought you were going to get it. It was 8.38 left in the fourth. In the, oh, uh, of the when, fourth. When so, they were up by one. Uh, hit a 55% win probability. Then wow. it, it went Houston's way and never bent back. Um, let me ask you, Rob, what is your favorite Bruno Mars song? <laughs> but what's the one where you have to get the stretch? Where, where's Julio get the stretch? Which one is that? Uh, well, the um, there are a lot of right answers to be very clear. And that wasn't it. Uh, Bruno rocks. Uh, a great Bruno song is "When I Was Your Man." Yeah. Um, and one of the I know you know that. Uh, and yeah. one of the one of the lines in there is um, he's talking about you know when I was your man, whatever, and he says I should have bought you flowers and held your hand. And I think that we should have bought Trey Jones flowers. Uh, there's a comment in the brigade bar uh, from Goldfinger123. It says, give flowers to Trey Jones. We should have bought them. Uh, last night was an impressive night for Trey. 24 mm-hmm. points. Um, kind of the heartbeat of the team, I think, in what was an almost win. You're, you're rolling your eyes. You don't want to go back in time and buy Trey Jones flowers. No, I don't. Wow. Because uh, one of, the, one of the, the things about playing with the big boys is – when they don't always take what they give you. The reason he had 24 points is because Van Vliet was running away from him every time they got to half court to go double on Wimby. There's a reason why you had a lot of opportunities last night. And if you're going to get those opportunities, you need to capitalize on more of them. Wow. So, yeah, congratulations. You took advantage. You were wide open all night long. And he had some the shots in the lane. No, I'm being real here. Um, Yes, he did exactly what a backup point guard in the NBA does, but a, but a starting NBA point guard looks at that and goes, we got to find another way to get Wimby involved. We got. I know that I'm open, but let me tell you, if I'm taking shots, I am playing C, and he needs to understand that. So when it's wide open for you, yes, you are. they're doing that for a reason. The way we win basketball games is to ensure Wimby touches the ball enough to get, I don't know, 14 points. Look, it's okay to say that Trey had a good game. No, he had a good game. It's but okay let's to understand give him his flowers. why okay. the Spurs lost, though. This yeah, I he think had you're a good game, but harsh one of the, no, give, I'm not. And he, just you can give him a flower here. <laughs> Here's a flower. Thank you. And he okay, didn't thank you. play horribly, but understand how Gosh. we got to where we are. He played well. He, it's he okay did. to say that. But when no, Wimby, you're, you're, you're changing, Wimby you changing, only you had he didn't play horribly. 13. He played well. He played well. And that's okay to Here's, say out loud. Okay. I'll, I'll give you that. But just because you score some points doesn't mean you played well. That means you made some Yeah, baskets. baby. He was, that, that again, like the only reason the Spurs were, you talked about how they were kind of competitive and kind of in the game. Like he was, a, maybe not the only reason, he was among the main reasons on a night where Wimby was, I don't want to say a ghost or absent, but clearly not his full self as we've been talking about here. In those moments, you need the Trey Joneses of the world to step up and be the straw that stirs the drink. And he was. And you're over here like, I guess, you know, I, I mean, you know, he he existed. You know, he he got some cardio work in. Like, dude, come on. Jeez. Uh, okay. Uh, here. here. Later you don't have to. No, you don't no, have no. To, just because you give him flowers doesn't mean you're long-term committed. You can give him flowers. He and had a good you game. Throw, throw in a pack of chocolates but at this in rate. The end, I mean, geez. they lost. And one of the reasons they lost is the uh, this guy named Victor Winbanyama only scored 13 points. Now, That's some not of it Trace is Jones's his, fault. Yes, it is. Uh, see, therein lies the rub. It is. It, to some extent, it is indeed his fault. Um, you have to take it upon yourself as the guy in control of the ball to be that quarterback. Sometimes you've got to force feed things. Sometimes you've got to run the ball in the first think- quarter to get nothing, knowing in the fourth quarter, when they're wore out, you'll get the four that you need. Sometimes you've got to do things planning on the future. And backup point guards, young point guards, only think about now. So that I, I get where you are. And for where he is, yes, congratulations. But we lost. And one of the reasons we lost was Victor Wimbanyama only had 13 points. And there were a variety of touches where we saw the guy who was having a good game keep the ability for the superstar to have a great game. So I let's think not you're... give flowers 
for a, a modicum of success when you made some buckets. He you played don't have okay. to blame Trey for I'm not Wendy's blaming poor him. night. But I understand. You are. Like, you're making the, the faults of the whole game to be tra- and like You're actually refusing to give him legitimate credit because the other things didn't work out. And that like to place that amount of responsibility on Trey is unfair. Like if you want to place that amount of responsibility it's his job. on him. I mean, it is his job, but like it's not it's not practical, you know, relative to this moment. Like what we know Trey to be and what we saw on on Tuesday night, it's fair to say that Trey Jones, I think, over delivered. He he did more than than is normally expected of him. And because of that, the Spurs almost won this game. Almost. It, he was one of the only Spurs who over delivered on Tuesday night. He was let down. His great performance was let down by his teammates. It's okay to give him some flowers. The Rockets have won four straight road games, uh, winning just five of their previous 29 games prior to that. Wimby went 13 and 10 rebounds, six assists and two blocks. That's two straight games with only two blocks. Um, this is the ninth game with at least 10 and 10 and then five and multiple blocks. The third most by a rookie since way back when. And you know who did it? <laughs> the great Alvin Adams had did it 15 times. Bill Walton did it 12 times. Wimby now has nine consecutive games with 10 and 10, becoming the first rookie since the big cat, Carl Anthony Townsend, and 60. Ooh, great question from Cujo, 77 in the brigade bar. So we're okay if Wimby gets 24 and Trey gets 13 and we lose by two. We're okay with that. Let's yes, go, Rob. we are. In this in oh. this era, yes. I'm, see, this went the, a, a, nah, a direction. I can't go with you here, dude. I, I look mm-hmm. at it like – the, the Spurs accomplished the plan. They lost the game. I mean, we don't want to add another ping pong or take away any ping pong ball. We don't want to do anything. They lost the game and were competitive till the end. Yes. But okay, sometimes they the, when the we big used to goal, play, I want you to put, I want you to put things in, in perspective. There, there was a time when the Spurs were good and we were, we'd played teams like, and, and the first one that comes to mind was Oklahoma city when Russell was still there. And, and, you know, OKC would roll in here and pop would say, you know what? Russell, triple-double, get whatever the hell you want. It is your night, and we're going to allow you to do as you please. Now, nobody else can, but you, Russell, are having to pour a wonderful night. And Russell would go out and get 35 and and get his triple-double, and OKC would lose by seven. Because... Pop understood. Yeah, let Russell be Russell. Just go do it. One guy, that's fine. But then, don't get you lost can't blame in the Trey numbers. For the team losing. Yes, if you can they... when you go. If no, you shot to, both to the sides detriment of, your mouth. of you an assist. Both ways. No, you they're... can't. You can't say that they failed to win because they didn't win, and that's that's on Trey. He didn't facilitate no, properly. I, I he didn't set with the flowers, but this was a game. And then compare to Russell Wilson. In that respect, was the Spurs win against the? thunder a failure or was the thunder you know perform was russell's performance against the spurs a success like you're oh. you're creating a world RJ, where everything uh, and nothing is true simultaneously you're, tra- you're trying to give somebody credit for something that is just their job and when they did their job they didn't do it absolutely correctly your, how your could job, he have done it absolutely correctly your when by your own admission the code red is not was a ordered. prescription to win um, i don't understand what that like what could have been accomplished then like to have been Worthy of flowers uh, relative to the terminology we're using here. I mean, we're, we're you're, you're, 24 points from Trey Jones. It's not the prescri- that's not how the Spurs are going to win basketball games. The, the Nobody is of saying the, that, but what right. we're saying is he had a good he game. Did. He, on had t- a he was one of the game, best players on the team. The he might have been the best player on the team on Tuesday night. But his job is to have a good game because others did. He had a good game to the detriment of others. And that's okay on really certain picky. instances. No, I'm saying. There's progress to be made, and what the progress that we need from Trey isn't proving that you can go get 24. That's not it. The progress that we need to see from Trey Jones is when the defense presents you with a problem where you can't get it, or at least by their design, are trying to keep you from getting it to the guy who you need to get it, find a way to get it to him. That's the defensive struggle. Now, he took the easy road out, and he capitalized on it. Congratulations. You did it. You got 24. But the intent of your job was to not need to get 24, find a way to get 10 assists, find a but way to get the superstar to, involved. But to your – that again, he and tried. I he, mean, like, what? when he missed yes. seven shots. And how is that on how many? How many? Seven. I mean – this you is, just answered you know, the problem. That's, but that's not on Trey. Like it's not Trey's fault that Wimby had an off night. I mean, so it's he, not CD Lamb's fault when he doesn't get any targets. This, that's a, 
it was exactly no, the same but thing. That's not. That's an entirely different discussion. I mean, Brian says in the brigade bar. So Wemby misses five threes, and it's Trey Jones's fault. Like it's, it's, again, it's Wemby's like, job to take those shots. I know it's not his fault that he misses them. No, I'm not saying he needed to take eight threes. I don't know how many shots he, how many threes he took. He needed to take he more. He missed five. He was what? Two of seven from take downtown. Take another one. Take another one. He could take another one. I'm fine with that. But I mean, again, Trey had a very good game. We can say that within the vacuum of what Tuesday night was. He, uh, understanding but, the context but what I'm of telling everything. You is, uh, don't confuse a good game with baskets made. That's a two. Those are two entirely different categories. He made some baskets. He scored 24 points. Was it a good game by that measure? By how many points did he score? Yes. In totality, I had a problem with the guy that is the future of the team that everything relies on not getting the ball enough. It's still a problem. And it's not just I don't him. Think you can blame Trey for that then. It's blame not Pop. just him. I mean, well, I can blame I can blame everybody. But he's the guy with the ball in his hand more than anybody else. And I, our star, own, how many shots again? I think this is a... He, he was 5 of 12, Wendy. He was 12 2 of 7 from downtown. shots? Okay, but, like, you can't, like, you're holding Trey to this, like, ridiculous standard. And I, that would be fine if we were talking about Trey Young, but we're not. And so, the, the, you know, like, we're putting this expectation on Trey Jones and on a night to where he did Wimby his is job. Inordinate? No, I think he did his job, and Wemby didn't live up to it. So Trey did take advantage and capitalized and scored himself and kept the Spurs in the game. And you're knocking him for you're knocking him for the points being in his column and not Wemby's. Yes, if the Spurs I am. had lost the exact same way, but Wemby had been the one with what did Trey finish on the night with 24 points? Then like, is it fine if 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 you know what I mean? Like, good for Trey for for finding a way to mitigate Wemby's off night. He mitigated it the wrong way. He mitigated it, and I'm giving you that. Again, I think uh, that would be a fair thing to say about one of the best point guards in the NBA if they, you know, knew what they were doing. It would be fair to hold them to that really, really, really high standard. But Trey Jones is dealing with this isn't not the first a lot time of, he's dealt with stars and getting them the ball. Uh, and, you know what? He take he took and made some buckets, and he did play a good game. Spurs lost, and the superstar touched the ball twelve times, took twelve shots. Now, it's not just his fault, everybody else on the team, but you can't walk out at the end of a game and see women. Can you imagine walking off the court and seeing, uh, I don't know, Steve Kerr took, I don't know how many shots he got, 24. Michael Jordan touched the ball 12 times, took 12 shots. Well, we'd be looking at Kerr going, what the hell, man? What the hell? Why didn't Michael touch the ball? But we can't say that about Wimby. Why did Wimby only touch the ball 12 times? It's Some of it's on him, demand it. Some of it's on other guys, but we all have to focus on the goal here. So yeah, you I, got 24. I'm happy for you. Congratulations. You made some buckets. I think you're you're being really yeah, unfair baby. to Trey Jones. I'm being precisely what should be treated. You congratulations. He you tried. Made some he tried to get yes. Wimby involved, and Wimby sucked. And that's like that's not his fault. And he he managed to help the team remain competitive in spite of Wimby having an off night. That is great adaptation mm -hmm. mid-game I, I, and i want to blame him but i don't have the video in front of me who <laughs> passed the ball to jeremy sohan to take the three to tie the game man dude like who, again, who's the, the, the of all like, oh, the guys I on the it, court. But I, I definitely want to blame trey jones for this i'm man. not I, I i if it was trey i got more blame to give you but and some of it's on you jeremy uh, maybe that's not your shot to take, though. You were fairly kind of open, but sometimes you got to go consider who's about to take that shot and consider why you're there. Jeremy Sohan was the, our, our three point option in that instance. There, there was it was infuriating. Trey I mean, Jones, he lobbed you, up dude. an air ball. I've got, I've got your back, Rob. Is you know maybe have another cup of coffee, Rob. And there might saying. be a greater concern here. Why is the offense sputtering with Devin and Victor? That's two straight because, games where they, it's, it's not looking right. Because they're not very good. <laughs> and and they're they're you know running on fumes at this point in time. And the what a weird thing that like the offense struggled when the generational superstar had a bad night. Oh man. And then the nerve of the point guard to try to help out and do something uh, on his own. What a huge jerk according to Rob Thompson. Uh, you're going to have to do better, son. Wow. Gonna have to do better. 24 points. Congratulations. You hit I open. hope you, you hit some open. You know jumpers. what, Rob? 
I hope that the next time you want to eat a bowl of cereal, you sit down and then something demands your attention and you have to get up. I'm glad for five you brought minutes up and you and you come back and it's too soggy because to enjoy. Despite your utter you. adoration for Trey Jones and all <laughs> things Trey. Uh, which Despite I appreciate. My, my, my willingness to just be fair and objective. Uh, right? A okay. wonderful young man. Uh, probably the better brother, in my opinion. But uh, uh, in the grand scheme of things, uh, despite your, your your misplaced adoration, I, I have to give you credit for the finest breakfast <laughs> I've had in a long time. Uh, you're we you're finally, a little bit more in on these than I am. No, we, <laughs> no you brought me in on this, and uh, it, it, we've kicked it up a notch. And you even told me. The first one, you got me involved with the pancake and the sausage looking like a corn dog that you can buy for breakfast. And then you, uh, I saw you and said, what are you eating? You said, oh, this is the same thing, but it's blueberry. So I've got the blueberry uh, sausage with the blueberry pancake uh, wrapped around it, the, the Jimmy Dean one. It's the best breakfast ever invented. It's efficient. It's um, easy to make, and it's delicious. It's not, it's not the healthiest thing for you, but, you know, that's a future us problem. Uh, but I, I will put it to you as I was eating it this morning. I think that there's a future and, and foods on a stick for the drive through market. Why aren't there more foods on a stick? It's the easiest thing to eat. Easier than a hamburger. Easier than a taco. I mean, it's on a stick. Um... You you don't I, need it. You you're you're holding something that's holding the food. You don't need a napkin. There's nothing yeah, the falling stick. off. I mean, it was just fun. I, I I put it to you that a food on a stick is the perfect drive through meal. A, a niche, a place in this market that is untapped. If you told me I could find a good burger on stick, I think well, they, like a lollipop. Uh, I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I, I'm just thinking outside the box. But it just struck me that not only was it the best thing I've ever had while driving in the car. When I was done, I had the the, the stick it like a uh, like a toothpick. I had something to like to play with. It was perfect, um, and no residual, no leftover, nothing on my hands, nothing on my clothes. That's a big accomplishment. I'm you. telling you. So wow! So not only was it good, it was it was functional, functional, yeah. and and uh, you know I'm all about functional. Yeah. Well, what do you got when it comes to giving Trey Jones flowers? Don't <laughs> worry, Trey. Hey, we're I'll gonna... serenade you with Bruno Mars lyrics. I got your back. Uh, the Spurs play the next two games in enemy territory, though they're still at home as they <laughs> head north to play in that weird place. As South by South goes on, are they are they putting uh, Wi-Fi uh, boosters on homeless people who are wandering around Austin again? They're doing that still. I don't or know, should I have said I unhoused? guarantee you there will be uh, some kind of food on a stick. Oh, I guarantee you vicinity. because they're forward-thinking people up there in Austin. Hey, well, uh, they are in the midst of a homestand. Is a win imminent against Denver or Brooklyn? We're going to continue talking Spurs all day long. But the news of the day as we continue, of course, is the legal tampering age. And as it continues, the, the well, the Cowboys continue to sit on their hands. And the fans, they're getting upset. Are they really testing their fans to see how far their loyalty is? Or are they tone deaf? The Cowboys sit quietly. And we're talking about it next. This is the Morning Huddle, and you're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Uh, I'm talking to you grillers. Uh, we're right around the corner from one of the four majors of your grilling season. Easter is nearly here. It is time to head over to Tri-County Meat Market in preparation for that. You might want to do a little bit of practice in this week. And the best way to practice is take advantage of their five for 25. Go get a couple stuff off that rack and go put it on the grill. You'll find out what you're good, or good at and you practice on a very economical way to get some food. Five items in one bag, $25. That's always in play at either one of the Tri-Counties. But for those of you that grill on the regular basis, I'm talking to you. Those uh, those fires we saw up in North Texas over the last couple of weeks, boy, we lost a lot of good cattle out there. And when those cattle got lost on the field, we're not going to get them on our plates. It's going to be a little bit more expensive around the, the summer as the meat business is going to try to rebound. Uh, prepare for that. Head over to Tri-County and take advantage of their freezer boxes. What I'm saying is Tri-County has curated a variety of different types of boxes of all the kinds of meats that you're going to want to grill. Whether you're a regular griller or you and you're looking for steaks and the, the premium cuts or you're just looking for a hamburger and hot dog and everything else. You fill a box that they'll prepare. You can put it in your freezer and the meat's always there and you get them at a discount. Buy in bulk, right? 
Well, Tri-County has got a variety of those. Head over to either one of those locations and find the right box for you and get it ordered. It'll save you money in the long run, and you'll have the very best meat at your beck and call when required. Both those locations have them, either at Hebner or out on Ralph Fair. They start at Prime and get better. They say it. I absolutely live by it. A great meal starts with great meat coming out from Tri-County. Head over there to either one of those locations, and I know you're going to thank me later. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star Spring Golf Classic is set Monday, March 25th at Golf Club of Texas with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Sierra Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four person scramble, $120 per player to join, or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch, 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star. Now is the best time to buy a Kinetico water softener. With current models being closed out to make way for the new ones, you can save big. Call Kinetico at 656-PURE and tell them Dave Ramsey sent you. That's 656-PURE. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A U D. A-C-Y. At BetUS.com, why do we care about a college basketball tournament every March where bets mean everything? Because it's March Mania, where glory triumphs and anything can happen, where underdogs can make or break our hearts. Because it's March Mania, where brackets are broken and buzzers are beaten. And there's always been a sports book there for you and your best buds. Because it's March Mania. BetUS has been with you through 30 marches together. And like any good six man, we've always had your back. And because it's March, BetUS.com is matching the mania with a mad offer. Back to back to back. 125% sign up bonus on your first three deposits. And the extra confidence that comes from a 10% gambler's insurance. Because anything can happen during March mania. Bet U.S. Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Get started today. Do you have failing or missing teeth? Hi, I'm Dr. Andrew Mueller, Chief Oral Surgeon at Doctors Implants. I had missing teeth. I had crowns. I had partials. There was no way I was going to walk into my bathroom every morning and see my teeth in a container. At Doctors Implants, replacing your teeth with full mouth dental implants might be the long-term solution you're looking for. The six hour smile is a permanent full mouth teeth replacement. Your new smile will be custom designed to fit your face and lifestyle and will look and function just like regular teeth. You won't need to remove them from your mouth overnight and you won't need adhesive to keep them in place. Eat freely and smile confidently again. Research them at doctorsimplants.com. Receive a complimentary doctor's consultation and CT scan when you call 210-640-0000. Again, that's 210-640-0000. the six-hour smile. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes and further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today, you'll owe even more tomorrow. And it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. 800-714-8422. Optima Tax Relief. 
Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is a alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or alawyerforus.com. Good morning, everybody. Joe Ryan Eagle here coming up on the Blitz. They can finally sign those big contracts that everybody's been agreeing to in the NFL. But the free agent period continues in the NFL. Will the Cowboys do something? Uh, I wouldn't count on it. Plus, the Spurs took on the Rockets last night. We're going to react to all of that. Hey, Rob, Jason and I have a bet. You wearing shorts to the roof, Rob, or those khaki slacks? (laughs) Damn. I'm appropriately attired in trousers. Wow, do you feel seen? And a vest. Um, what the hell are they talking about? Uh, this I mean, is the morning huddle, and I am wearing pants today. Um, although I, I appreciate good appreciate a good short. I, how often when you see Minix never wears shorts? Ryan Engel wears shorts. I've seen Jason wear shorts. What are you talking about? Not, I mean, not he's not a guy that wears shorts to work. That's just not what he does. Wow, what is that? No, I'm not. That's a good. Thing. Most people shouldn't wear shorts to work. Okay, unless you're a post. He wears short guy. shorts. I wear short shorts. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, that you date yourself with that one. Uh, the uh, what's the the thing from Game of Thrones? The Red Witch. The night is dark and full of terrors. The Dallas Cowboy universe is a dark and terrifying place right now. Uh, uh in every way, it is so dark and terrifying. A station. Uh, the ticket up in Dallas, in the midst of all this free agency uproar, of which the the Cowboys have played little or no role in. You know what the ticket did yesterday? They had the lawyer on representing the woman. It was the fan. Oh, uh, the, the fan. fan. I'm sorry. The fan. They had the lawyer on representing the woman that uh, is uh, involved in this extortion plot with Dak. That's what they were doing. Because there's no news to report on as far as free agency they've done absolutely nothing and when you see a situation that feels strange at least in my mind i've always tried to figure out why why do you think we are here and i think when you start is it deliberate or not is this a deliberate this is where the cowboys wanted to be by design or was it by a series of errors here they find themselves i think that it's a combination of things like is often the case in life right. Multiple things can be true. And in this case, multiple things are likely true. I think that they're really bad at this. I think that's <laughs> the kind of the core foundational thing. Is it the they're premise really... of built, not bought? Is it just the idea that no, the no, Cowboys no, like, don't believe in, in free agency at all? I think I think that they think highly of their draft prowess, mm-hmm. which is fair, even though last year's class was awful. I think that they remain terrified of free agency because of a a deal with Brandon Carr 12 years ago. A deal that he played every game of, by the way, and was the best cornerback on the team for. I also think that they now are kind of leaning into the meme, right? Like they, they're just kind of like, this is who they are. And that I think that they like the attention. I, I think that they do. I, I think that they enjoy, you know, everybody. I mean, yesterday, you know, get up is kind of just starting here but yesterday you know we're coming off the first day of free agency where kirk cousins is a falcon and still fresh and russell wilson is a Steeler, christian wilkins is a raider right and one of the headlines is why have the dallas cowboys not done anything i mean like if you needed any kind of proof that they can literally do nothing 
and still be the conversation. May I present to you the last two days? That that is exactly what is happening here. They are actually. I'm I'm not you know being silly. They are literally doing nothing and still being talked about more than teams who are doing everything. And that is the net goal here. That is the ultimate goal. That is the straw that stirs the drink. But when you when you do kind of parse your way through that and you get to the you know kind of well you have to you know build and and you know field a football team. They're also bad at it. They're also bad at this whole process. They're also bad at evaluating things. They're also horrible at evaluating, you know, professional players. They're great at, at, at collegiate scouting, but they don't have, you know, the great kind of pro scouting to match that. And everybody loves to talk about like, oh, well, these free agency deals, they burned them. And the last time the Cowboys were somewhat kind of maybe barely active in free agency was 2020. If you recall, they signed Joe McCoy. They signed Don Terry Poe. They signed Ha Ha Clinton Dix. We were singing their songs. It was all amazing. It was all wonderful, et cetera, et cetera. And those you know, signings failed. Out of the locker room. Right. Those signings failed. But do you know who the Cowboys drafted that year? Their first two draft picks in 2020. Do you know who they were off the top of your head? On the uh, 20? Um, 2020. No, I don't remember. That That was the uh, CD. Didn't win that CD? Yeah. Good for you, oh, Rob. Yeah. Good for you, Rob. Short wearing Rob Thompson. It was CD Lamb in the first round. Yeah. And... It was Trayvon Diggs in the second round. So if you can do both, <laughs> like, like, like there's no rule that says you can only choose to build to the draft. And, and they're choosing that in free agency. Pledge says in the brigade bar, free agency still hasn't even really started. Is this not a little hyperbolic? Pledge, it's not hyperbolic. They are, they are the only team. There are two teams, actually, that have yet to sign an external free agent, meaning a, a player who was on another team last year, the Dallas Cowboys and the Tempe Buccaneers. But the Buccaneers have been busy. The Buccaneers have returned and retained the likes of Mike Evans and Baker Mayfield and Levante David, three critical pieces to their overall goal. In fact, two of them are the main pieces in Baker Mayfield and Mike Evans, all due respect to the great Levante David. But what what do the, if, if the Cowboys had brought back Tyron Smith or if they had restructured Dak Prescott or extended Dak Prescott or extended CD Lamb or extended Micah Parsons, if they had done anything, it would then we could sit here and say, well, they've accomplished this. They have accomplished absolutely nothing this is a four hour testing period and we're an hour in and they haven't even picked up their pencil yet it, it's insane it's it's dumb it's moronic it's it's actually it should be illegal it's malpractice whoa, the way they're whoa, approaching whoa, this. Whoa, whoa. i mean it does take two to tango you you have there has to be two agreeable parties to make a deal and i'm not i'm not taking anybody's side here in fact jane slater had a series of tweets yesterday about uh some of the process that they were going through in this Zach Moss thing that, well, you know, we come to find out that $4 million was above their comfort level, but it was the response to the Zach Moss thing that I think a lot of people are finding some problems with. Uh, what did Jane say about uh, taking or making so, calls? So for context, the Cowboys reportedly were out on Zach Moss because he wanted a two-year deal averaging $4 million per year. I mean, the nerve, you know, right. <laughs> of, of, of Zach Moss to ask for, barely above you know vet minimum but that being said jane noted that in her follow-up to you was what now at running back with tony pollard gone quote we are looking at any player that can improve us in range that we can afford we have talked to any guy who has called and listened to what their wishes or ranges are first of all this is a smaller point here nobody is stupid enough to buy this can afford business get off your ass and do your job you you can afford whoever you want. Nobody is dumb enough in today's day and age to buy this circus line. But beyond that, Rob, the part of Jane's tweet that everybody ran with was, we have talked to any guy who has called, called. and listened to what their wishes or ranges are. Why are you not the one calling these people? Why is why is why are the calls incoming? Why why are they are not outgoing calls? What are you possibly doing if you're not even making phone calls? That is, of all the things that are going on right now, to me, that's the most concerning. Because on the other side of that coin, and forgive the narrative, but it is true, that if I'm a free agent, whether it's a, a blue star or, or, or uh, you know, the Bengals, it doesn't matter. And I'm looking at the Cowboys, and this is the scenario I'm looking at. I'm looking at what the, a recently exited tight end called a circus. Well, I knew that. I knew it was going to be a zoo. I know that's what Schultz actually called it, a zoo. So uh, I'm looking at a zoo. 
uh, that has an owner that's going to have his own agenda and will always be more important than me, no matter how good I get. I have a head coach on a one-year deal. I have a defensive coordinator on a one-year deal. I have a quarterback that I don't know what the hell is going on that is essentially on a one-year deal. And you're telling me that to go sign a three-year deal with a team that looks to explode? Jerry, whether he meant to get here or not, is kind of going into this with one arm tied behind his back. And then you add in, he never does much anyway. So, I, I you know, I get some of the anger because you said one thing, but the fact of the matter is not all of this is his fault right now. Now, he's his, it's his fault. He's I'll in this situation. Disagree. He painted himself into a corner. There was no easy way out. But right now, when we're screaming at him, hey, you're not making deals. Well, some of it might be, well, dude, I'm, 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 I can't. Nobody will come because of the situation I'm in. That's not a defense. That, that, that is a reason. That situation is completely his fault. And I, and you're you and right, and I'm looking is, at is his it. his fault. So maybe we should just accept the fact that while Jerry isn't making deals, he can't make deals. I mean, they, the, the, they the guys worth their, their salt, the ones that matter, ain't coming here because the future is so freaking vague. So if you're thinking I'm going to go get a star, they ain't coming. And some of me doesn't want them. But even if I did, they ain't coming because they don't know what the future holds. And neither do I. I agree with you. And the future is obviously clouded by the McCarthy question, the Mike Zimmer question, the yeah. Dak question. I mean, like, it's hard to get somebody to sign up for that. And what, what they don't understand is you're going to have to then, and, and it's like we talk about with, with just the Dak extension. You have to give. Right. You, you, you have go to lose part you, of the deal. Right. You you have to overpay. You have to you have to bend somewhere. They are They remain convinced that because they are the most valuable professional sports franchise in the world, that there is some lure to playing for them that doesn't exist anywhere else. Am I going to sit here and say that there is not a benefit to playing for the Cowboys as opposed to the Texans or the Bengals or whoever? No, of course not. You're on national television or effectively national television. Right. Live in a day and age where you can be a brand and you can play for a big team anywhere. The markets are massive. This is the most popular league in, in the country by a massive margin. You, you don't hold this you know, ace card that you think. Jerry's painted himself into a corner. How does he get out and how much fault lies directly at his feet? And maybe, maybe there's some blame for Dak. We're going to continue this conversation on the other side. Your calls and your thoughts. And then uh, we're going to look at the other side of the coin. Not the teams, but the players. Who's winning this free agency? Because there's some dudes that got paid surprisingly well. We'll look at that just after the top of the hour. Hang around with us. There's so much to do. This is the Morning Huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Talk. It's the Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. Coming up on the Blitz, guys can finally sign all those big-time contracts they agreed to in the NFL, but the free agency period continues. So you're saying it's going to be a busy day at the star? Of course. you got to get that long snapper officially signed. The buffet is open. What will the Cowboys do? Spurs, Rockets last night. We're talking about it on the Blitz starting at 2. The Blitz with Jason and Joe. Afternoons at 2. On 94.1, San Antonio Sports Star. The John Clay Wolf Show. Here's what's going on in the Wolf Pack. Scott, you've had a question about radio stations? Yes, I do. Back in the 80s, uh, when J.D. and I guess Bobbo were doing radio, why did stations sound so different, like in a car or something, where they compressed or something like that? Bob, cocaine. <laughs> the john clay wolf show every saturday morning catch the john clay wolf show saturdays from 9 a.m to noon right here on san antonio sports star join jason and joe from the blitz in las vegas thursday march 28th at circa resort and casino in downtown las vegas to celebrate the start of the season with the ceremonial first pitch by hall of famer greg maddox catch all the games on the circa las vegas 78 million pixel screen while you feast on coney dogs by american coney dog complimentary apple pie and more and oh yeah moms drink free don't miss the first day of baseball at circa resort and casino visit circa las vegas.com for more information book your trip now circa las vegas.com hi it's jason minix from the blitz did you know your testosterone levels start to decline in your 30s so if you're feeling a lack of energy and drive it could be caused by low t get your levels tested at synergenics they make it quick and easy and with the convenience of their on-site lab you'll get your results back at your first visit at synergenics you will get customized care from testosterone specialists book your appointment now go to fixmylowt.com that's fixmylowt.com 
San Antonians love a good party, and the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. With conference championships around the corner, now's the time to register for the Twin Peaks Dose Million Bracket Challenge. Sign up now at TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. That's TwinPeaksBracketChallenge.com. Then fill out your bracket before the tournament tips off on March the 21st. Enter for your chance to win $2 million and even more epic prizes, including a $50 Twin Peaks gift card to the top bracket from every lodge. Twin Peaks eats, drinks, and oh, those scenic views. Joe Reinagle here. I want to tell you about something that has completely changed my life. I had vision correction surgery at Parkhurst New Vision. The results are amazing. The readers are a thing of the past. If you're like me and tired of those glasses, call Parkhurst New Vision at 210-585-2020. They offer a variety of services like vision correction surgery. So call Parkhurst New Vision, 210-585-2020, or get them online at sanantoniolasic.com. When it's time for the March Mania brackets, the bus wide open. As I was saying, it's mad. The Mania of March at BetUS.com is all about those buzzer beats. Florida Stoppers. And when the madness starts and Cinderella, man steps under the. BetUS always has your back with. Back to back to back. 125% sign up bonuses on your first three deposits. And even 10% gambler's insurance. BetUS.com Sportsbook and Casino, where the game. Join today, Bet US Sportsbook and Casino, where the game begins. Texting enrolls you in a recurring automated marketing text message. Consent not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Another salad for lunch, huh? Listen, turning 40 has dragged me down. I'm trying to get my energy back. Hit the gym, lose a few pounds. It may not be your fault you're slowing down. Maybe your problem is low. Every man should know once you hit 40, your body has less free testosterone. That's why I got Nugenics Total T. It's restored my drive, passion, and libido, plus helped me build more lean body mass in the gym. That's really helped you boost testosterone? Definitely. In fact, Nugenics is so confident Total T will change the game for you, they'll send you a complimentary two-week sample for you to try for yourself. Just send them a text to get started. Text CASH to 231231 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total T. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now, and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenix Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever. Absolutely free. Text C A S H to 231231. That's cash to 231231. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When your business needs an electrician, for over 35 years, the family-owned Hill Electric has served San Antonio. Powered by relationships with dedicated estimators who analyze the issue, research cost-effective solutions, and clearly communicate the options without charging you a dime. A proven process that allows you to continue focusing on your unique purpose. Call Hill Electric at 210-404-9074. That's 404-9074. Or hill-electric.com. San Antonio's sports star. Wake up with a morning huddle. Welcome back. We're on TMH. He's the managing editor of Blogging the Boys as we talk Dallas Cowboys. I'm starting to look at the Cowboys, RJ, as a... Um, um, they're they're a, a ship with a captain but not a rudder <laughs> and they're trying to figure out how to get themselves into port and they can't figure out how to get there because uh they've they've got themselves in a situation where there's really not a winner but i think i i i, I think we're looking at at least from my point of view and i want to talk about it in the next hour that maybe some blame should fall on their quarterback not not i believe right n- now. no this is something that Dak should be doing. But some of the things that aren't happening might be because the quarterback isn't amenable to the situation that he finds himself. And it's not his fault he's there. It's Jerry's. But now things can't get done because the other guy won't do it. Is it is that not at least at least possible? I want to talk about that in the eight o'clock. Also, Nick Saban was um in front of Congress. <laughs> 
uh wait to hear what he had to say and uh yeah i think yeah and when you hear him speak you're gonna go "Hmm, makes a lot of sense that's coming in the eight o'clock all we need is for you to be there right around the corner who has won this free agency not the teams the players who's the guy that walked away with the biggest haul it's your usual suspects that will tell you who they are next you're on the morning huddle then this is 94.1 san antonio's sports talk this is the morning huddle with Robin RJ. Okay, Kimber, ride the morning six to ten, KTFM Floorsville, and everywhere at sasportstar.com. Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos, Brahmas. Want to see the dedication and discipline it takes to become a world champion boxer? Witness 21 to 1 world ranked Gio Cabrera, trained by the legendary Freddie Roach, who's worked with the likes of champion Manny Pacquiao, Miguel Cotto, and Julio Cesar Chavez. Come to training exhibition and fan experience at Smoke Texas and Sky Bar, located at 501 East Crockett in downtown San Antonio. Free to the public, Thursday, March 28th, starting at 5 p.m. Go to dmpboxing.com. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day ebay motors is here for the ride 120,000 miles of night drives daily commutes and who knows how many are we there yet countless fixed radiator you kept your ride alive with ebay motors you have over 122 million parts to keep it running and with ebay guaranteed fit they'll be the perfect fit every time plus at these prices well we're burning rubber not cash keep your ride or die alive at ebaymotors.com eligible items only exclusions apply And now, another no-brainer money-saving tip from Progressive. Marcus, what happened? I was changing my oil and I spilled some on the floor. Oh, well, use these $50 bills to wipe it up. Perfect. Got any more? Yeah, yeah, take a couple hundred. Stop. Instead of using money, use an old rag. And here's a better tip from Progressive on how not to waste money. Don't pay too much for car insurance. Drivers who switch and save could save hundreds. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Potential savings will vary. Not available in all states. The Golf Club of Texas has some of the best course conditions with the friendliest staff. The golf is great. They have lighted driving range and practice area. While it feels like a country club, it's not a private club. It's open to the public. So bring the family into the 10 Cup Bar, the nicest sit-down restaurant in that area of San Antonio, specializing in Texas food. Food, wine, and spirits. For golf or dinner, go to the Golf Club of Texas off Highway 90. Online at golfclubtexas.com. The Golf Club of Texas, the friendliest golf course in Texas. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Go to nomoredraftywindows.com for full offer details. Attention all homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? It's time to replace. Fog between the glass. Time to replace. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's definitely time to replace. If you've put off replacing windows in your home because it's too expensive, here's great news. You can now get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson, the company with the most five-star reviews among leading full-service window replacement companies. And right now, you can save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. Just text ENERGY to 200-300 for your free consultation on top-quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Plus, save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings end this month. Text ENERGY to 200-300 right now. Text the word ENERGY to 200-300. Don't wait. Text ENERGY to 200-300. 94.1 San Antonio's Sports Star San Antonio's Sports Center The NFL's legal tampering period continues and the Dallas Cowboys continue to do just about nothing 
They re-signed a, a deep snapper. That's it. The Houston Texans stayed busy trading for Joe Mixon. San Antonio Spurs go down to the Houston Rockets. Victor Wenbanyama has a double-double, but there's only 13 points. They get busy again in Austin next. How good you want to be? From play one to the last play, we fight. Today's about opportunity and character. We got a chance to come out here and play football. It's a blessing. Hey, every season is full of defining moments. Let's make this day a defining moment for us in our quest. Let's go, baby. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star with Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, RJ Ochoa. Now. Here are the guys. Hey, gather around. We got a bunch to talk about. It's the morning huddle. He's RJ Ochoa. I'm Rob Thompson. We call the show the morning huddle because we plan for the day. What's your next option? We're going to call two plays in the huddle. We're going on first click. Uh, let's do it. Uh, click there at uh, SA Sports Star there on your YouTube feed. Watch the morning huddle on your regular. Make sure you're subscribed so you get the notifications and like what you're hearing on the regular. And that way, uh, RJ and I are, are, are good with the suits. The higher ups, that's how we get graded. Uh, we've only have got you ever seen suits? Uh, no, I, I have not seen suits though. I saw it gain some notoriety on Netflix recently. I hear yeah, one of them, the uh, one, one of the suit chicks is like a princess or something. Uh, Meghan Markle is, I don't think she's a princess, I don't know what the oh, she's not even anything. Didn't they? Didn't uh, her yeah. husband, didn't she talk no. her husband out of leading the monarchy? What the hell was that about, anyway? Um, uh, this hour. Uh, eight o'clock. We're glad you're with us. Uh, we're talking free agency first, but from the players' perspective, who benefited the most? Who really got paid appropriately, and who might have gotten overpaid? Looking at that now, I, I do uh, want to talk some Spurs for sure. The loss was difficult, uh, uh, but uh, maybe there's a few things to be gained from what we did see. Uh, Nick Saban talked to Congress, and uh, you need to hear it. Uh, sometimes it's better to be thought old and outdated than it is to speak and prove it. Uh, we'll hear from <laughs> we'll hear Saban uh, talking a later. Uh, but first, uh, if you ask me, Kirk Cousins is the luckiest man on the planet. I don't know. You know, nobody's got it perfect. No matter what you see, you're only seeing the tip of the iceberg, and everybody got their wapos in life. But I've never seen anybody fail up or average up in life more than Kirk Cousins. So obviously a guy with only one functioning Achilles tendon at the current time signs a hundred million dollar guaranteed contract probably turned out the best of anybody. So I'm going to discount him and I'm going to say Derek Henry was born to be a Baltimore Raven. It's kind of one of those things. It's about time you got to your son because we've been waiting on you. This is a marriage made in heaven. Not only did he get paid appropriately uh, given the current market, but he went to a team that will truly understand the gifts that he brings and more importantly he will force their offensive coordinator to run the football when it's appropriate to run the football todd munger was supposed to do that i thought and still couldn't manage it maybe derrick henry demanding it might cause it to happen i think derrick henry is the all-out winner of free agency i agree with you on derrick henry i'm very happy for him very happy for ravens fans they you know, kind of going through it, having lost Patrick Queen. Um, you know, that was a, a bit of a tough pill to swallow, obviously. But landing Derrick Henry is very cool. That being said, I disagree with you on Kirk in the sense of you said he's the luckiest whatever. Oh, no, he was born at the lucky year, at the lucky time, to hit at the right time for everything that's been I'm, appropriate. The the I'm franchise, that, the free agency, the, the I'm modern not, technology. I'm not there hasn't of, been a a semblance of, of luck or a lot of luck, but like Kirk has absolutely earned it. He, he has, has played well right. enough. And not only has he played well enough, but he has been one of the only people willing to go the distance. Not a lot of people are that brave. And Kirk has understood that even his, what people lump up to being like averageness is valuable. Kirk has never sold short and he has profited every single time as a result of it all. And you would think that other people would take a page out of his playbook. Perhaps Dak Prescott is, but, um, so but, that's, but I will say this. On Kirk. No, I agree with everything you're saying, but if Dak Prescott was in the exact same situation, had, had landed with the Vikings at the same time, everything had happened the same. 
it wouldn't have turned out the same because I'll put it to you. Kirk Cousins is one of those guys that falls up. Some people do. We all he's, know that he's earning it though. Well, like no, the you're idea right, that he's and, doing, and, and like that's he's the other part falling. of this. Luck. He's, he's he's climbing, and he's certainly right. having some luck work out for him. But anyway, but I think Joe Mixon was a big winner. I think Joe Mixon. Agency. Yeah, I, I like Joe Mixon. Uh, well, he was he was a big winner because he didn't have to structure a new contract, you so know, he'll be able to in, jump in, so, into the market again real soon. Right. And so he gets to stay on his current contract, which is important, and he gets to go to another contender. So he wasn't traded and like banished to Siberia or something. You know what I mean? And he will have another chance to get paid technically. But that would have really sucked to have, you know, been cut and then had the entire mm-hmm. running back, you know, free agency <laughs> class come and go and then be the last man standing. Uh, cause you know the Cowboys weren't gonna offer you anything. So that was a, a subtle that was a subtle win relative to the context of the situation because they were clearly ready to move on from him and, and clearly had been for some time. So I think he was a big winner. I think Saquon Barkley was a big winner because he got the Eagles to bite and got the we, Eagles no, to overpay. It's funny. All we're talking about the winners are all running backs. What do you mean all? We're talking about, you know, well, I guess three, three of the four now, but three of the four big well, winners are the running backs where we thought well, there that, was no market. That proves, that proves how unexpected this was. Right. More than maybe <laughs> so, or to maybe you. I think I, I I'm not gonna pat myself on the back, but I think we all saw this was a weird time and and the the NFL went back to the mean. They went back and they paid running backs. I think they didn't go back to the mean. There was a influx of salary cap space. They had a surplus. They had to spend it somewhere. It, it wasn't regression to the mean. I it didn't say regress. Coincidence. They the, I mean, okay. we saw two guys get paid over the the uh, think, franchise number, which is about where it should be. Guards in the NFL, big winners. There was a lot of guard payout that happened, you know, in the initial couple of waves. Um, I would also argue Calvin Ridley is kind of a winner here. Are you aware of the specifics of his deal with the Jaguars? I was going to say, is he a winner? But okay. So Calvin Ridley is still on the market technically right. because... So- if he signs a new deal with the Jaguars, who traded for him, before the new league year begins, which is today, it's new league year day, okay. right? It officially commences at 3 p.m. Central time. If he signs a new deal with the Jaguars before that time, then the Jaguars owe the Falcons a second round draft pick. Okay. okay. But if if the deal is not signed until after the deadline, it becomes a third round draft pick. So the Jaguars are trying to get past the new league year's beginning so they can send the lower pick. Right. But in doing so, they have to let him dangle on the open market longer and longer and longer and allow his representation to drive the price up. So Calvin Ridley's kind of a big winner. It was because of that clause in the trade. I, I guess he's in a great situation in a downtime for 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 wide receivers. So if you have yeah, to be a I wide mean, receiver, this is the best situation to be in right now. Well, because he has that unique right. detail, and and if he can capitalize on it over the course of the next what is it now seven hours, then good for him. What did Pittman get? But Pittman, uh, his I don't know his full deal, but Pittman was a winner. Um, it remains to be seen if T. Higgins is a winner. If somebody uh, wants to see, like T. Higgins is kind of a loser. I think he's because, getting left out, man. No, I do. Nobody's, Nobody's going to trade for you and give you big time money in a, you know, in a draft where there's going to be like seven first rounds. Absolutely, you're just paying real close attention to the situation you're talking about right now. Because I think Chelsea Gardner Johnson was a big winner. Um, he Anybody had, uh, with three names needs to be successful. Well, he had the uh, the big off season last year, and he left the Eagles and went to the Lions, and then talked a bunch of crap, and now he's back. He got paid again. I mean, so. I think contending teams were winners. The Eagles took swings. The Niners took swings. The Chiefs are, are taking swings relative to what they can. The Texans, the Ravens, the you know who, Lions who, marginally. Who hanging around out there now as a player has the most leverage to make the best deal? That waiting is going to benefit the most. Tyron Smith. Is it Tyron Smith as the as yeah. the left tackle that's left out there that is always required that he and I, the longer I we wait, offer, the more money he makes. This is one of my favorite Robisms. I put it to you that I think the Chiefs are preparing for Tyron because I don't know if you saw this yesterday afternoon slash evening. They restructured Patrick Mahomes' contract. And it's so funny, by the way, the way that these the insider game gets worked and the way reporting happens. And 
I have nothing against Patrick Mahomes. He's awesome. He rules. But the the reporting was like this was a selfless move of uh-huh. Mahomes. The reporting was like Patrick Mahomes is restructuring his contract so the Chiefs can chase the third Super Bowl in a row. This isn't a Mahomes decision. <laughs> right. This is in in fact, this is the Chiefs decision that accelerates when Mahomes gets his money. So I mean, again, I'm not saying it's a selfish decision either, but this is a, a mechanism deployed by the team. So it's not like Mahomes said, you know what, guys, I just don't want this money. Y'all take it. That is in no way what happened here. And and the Cowboys could do the exact same thing with Dak Prescott, just to be very clear. But anyway, um, so the Chiefs restructured Mahomes' you know, contract yesterday, created some salary cap space. Why would they be doing that? What what do the Chiefs need? What what are the Chiefs trying to do? They're trying to load up who is the best player available now at this point in free agency. It's Tyron Smith. What have we been saying ever since it was reported that it was unlikely he would return to the Cowboys? He's going to the Chiefs. Yesterday, the Chiefs effectively created a Tyron Smith-shaped, you know, sort of spot on their roster. And it's only a matter of time before it becomes official in my mind. So, so this is how teams prepare and do things in free agency. They kind of lay the groundwork in preparation to go get a guy. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Interesting. Chiefs, the, the Chiefs, and the Chiefs have every reason to, to go for broke. They can they can make history. I mean, they, they can win a third Super Bowl in a row. And I hope that Tyron's a part of that. I really do. Tyron deserves that the same way DeMarcus Ware deserved it. The same way, unfortunately, Jason Witten deserved it. And Tony Romo and Dan Bailey and Des Bryant and Sean Lee and a billion other people that we could kind of rip through a name that have suffered over the course of the last quarter century because of the fact that they found their way to the Cowboys franchise. I have a question for you to ponder as we hear from our fine sponsors. I, what if what if Dak that. is done and doesn't want to be a Dallas Cowboy anymore. Woo! Maybe Rob that is, might explain why I'm we're here. With the bacon grease this morning. Maybe it's not Jerry, although Jerry got us here. Dak is jumping off a sinking ship. To, is that what's going this. on? You can't say this unless you're going to like unpack the whole thing. We're going to talk about it next. We are going to okay. do that next. Uh, well, we're glad you're with us. He's RJ. He he edits Blogging the Boys. I'm Rob Thompson. I read Blogging the Boys. Uh, oh! We'll be right back. This is the morning huddle here on 94.1 uh, San Antonio Sports Star. How you feeling this morning? I hope. Hi, people do who are skinny and active. And if that's you, keep it to yourself. Others of us are are dealing with it. Listen to me. If you're overweight, it's so hard to get the day going. And we know what it's like to keep the day moving. Uh, If it's time for you to lose weight, I want you to consider the Institute for Functional Health. I did, and I'm glad I did. You know, so many people try different weight loss programs and thoughts and starvation things and lose a little bit of weight, but they always seem to gain it back for a lot of reasons. One of them is that these weight loss fads, they don't really work because they're doing things that your body doesn't accept and it's going to go back to the norm. Others of us have underlying issues that won't allow us to lose weight in the normal way. And you won't know that until you go see a medical professional like Dr. Jacob Torres over at the Institute for Functional Health. There's a lot of reasons why a lot of us are overweight. And don't let underlying medical conditions keeping you uh, from losing that weight. Get it diagnosed and treated appropriately, and you'll be surprised at how easy it is to actually lose that weight. That's why the Institute for Functional Health has been so successful with people like me. Now, I didn't have an underlying condition other than I was lazy and didn't really want to do it. And that's the other part of what the Institute does. They'll keep you motivated and active in losing weight. Listen to me close. If it's time for you to lose weight, I want you to meet Dr. Jacob Torres. There's nobody more interested in your health than him and whoever else loves you. Let him talk to you about what it takes and what is required to lose weight. Here's the number, 210-468-1891. His website is ifffhealth.com. Trust me, go there. It's very informative. If it's time for you to lose weight, if the doctors are telling you or you put your foot down and decided, now is it. This is your answer. The IFF. Call them today. And I know you're going to be thanking me later. It's coming. It's almost here. We'll head to the Elite Eight. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite Eight, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One. At Edwin Watts Golf Shops by Worldwide Golf. There's something that binds us all. 
the collective goal to transcend the ordinary. Introducing the all-new Vokey SM10 wedges. Made for lower flight, improved feel, and maximum spin. Unlock your ultimate wedge. Play with the new Vokey SM10 wedges. Visit us in store at Edwin Watts Golf Shops or online at WorldWideGolf.com. Get there. Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control, rental, and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. Hi, my name's Jason Thompson. I've lived in San Antonio for more than 50 years. Went to grade school, high school, and graduated from law school right here. San Antonians have trusted me as their attorney after serious injury and fatality collision since 1994. My website is alawyerforus.com. Why a lawyer for us? Well, after several years of practice, I watched as insurance companies created their own law firms solely to defend against auto claims. Today, there are very few insurance companies that do not have their own captive law firm filled with attorneys whose job is to minimize what the insurance company has to pay on an auto claim. If you are a family member is injured in a traffic collision, you will need your own attorney. Just remember a lawyer for us.com. For many lawyers you see on billboards, your case will be handled by a non-lawyer or a staff lawyer. If you call me, Jason Thompson, I will be the lawyer you speak with. The initial consultation is always free. If you are a family member and needs an experienced attorney, an attorney you can trust, I want you to call me, Jason Thompson. My number is 900-0400. That's 210-900-0400 or a lawyerforus.com. Imagine getting ahead of your irritable bowel syndrome with constipation or IBSC by treating it with Linzess. Then you could start proactively managing your constipation with belly pain and get ahead of your symptoms. Talk to your doctor about Linzess, linaclotide. Linzess is a prescription medicine that treats IVSC in adults. It's not a laxative. It's a once daily pill that helps you get ahead of your symptoms. It's proven to help you have more frequent and complete bowel movements and helps relieve overall abdominal symptoms, belly pain, discomfort, and bloating. These symptoms were studied in combination, not individually. Do not give Linzess to children less than two. It may harm them. Do not take Linzess if you have a bowel blockage. Get immediate help if you develop unusual or severe stomach pain, especially with bloody or black stools. The most common side effect is diarrhea, sometimes severe. If it's severe, stop taking Linzess and call your doctor right away. Other side effects include gas, stomach area pain, and swelling. Imagine what could relief from IBSC mean for you. Talk to your doctor and say yes to Linzess. Learn more at Linzess.com or call 1-800-LINZESS. Hey guys, Jason Minix here from The Blitz. Do you have a lack of energy, motivation, possibly low libido? These symptoms could be caused by low T levels. At Synergenics, their medical providers exclusively specialize in customized testosterone treatment, and they make it quick and easy to get your levels checked. And at Synergenics, you get your results back at your first visit. Book your appointment now. Go to FixMyLowT.com. That's FixMyLowT.com. Don't let pain keep you from doing the things you love. I'm Dr. Jason Garrett from Arosti. At Arosti, we fix pain fast. Whether you've been living with chronic and nagging pain for years, or if you've recently experienced an injury, our goal is to get you out of pain as quickly as possible. Arosti is completely natural and non-invasive. Plus, Arosti accepts most insurance plans. There's a location near you. Visit Arosti.com. That's A-I-R-R-O-S-T-I.com. Arosti, we fix pain fast. Check out the 2024 Basketball Mayhem at sasportstar.com. Enter your best bracket for the chance to win an incredible $1 million prize at sasportstar.com. Hey, huddle up. Get there. He's RJ. I'm Rob. This is the morning huddle. Talking uh, Cowboys. Uh, I, I just saw the scroll of uh, <laughs> Robert Kennedy. Uh, junior, it might be uh, is going to announce his uh, running mate uh, for the uh, for his uh, independent presidential aspirations, and he's down to two candidates. Uh, oh, one yeah? is Jesse the Body Ventura, the other is Aaron Rodgers, and uh, we're, we're going to find out real soon who uh, the uh, uh, aspirational Kennedy is going to choose as his running mate, which sounds like a sitcom to me. This is real. And Jet fan is losing their minds over this. And there's a lot of things to be mad at Aaron Rodgers for. And, and in the hierarchy of things that he has done over his lifetime that would make me furious as a fan of 
whatever team he's played for. This 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 is just minor. What? And, and talking about him being a disruption in the locker room and getting rid of the BS and cutting all that stuff out. He didn't say he wanted to be Kennedy's running mate. Kennedy just mentioned him along with no, but but uh, the New York Times article. That's yeah, what I know. This. I know. It mentioned that, that like that had it, well. I mean, look, if you're taking things in a literal sense, it mentioned that he had been briefed or whatever, uh-huh. and he was down. I mean, it's got to be a different kind of exhausting if you're a Jets fan because you have you have dealt with only the bad of Aaron Rodgers and got none of the good. You know I what know. I mean? Like you're it's, right. it's got to be but, just be the most horrible thing ever. But talk about you know another distraction. Ain't no distraction. This is a newspaper column in March. I mean, and you're a Jet fan. Cut him today and start drafting another. Well, yeah, you should probably draft another quarterback. Uh, but uh, you, and you kind of want to see how this is going to work out. You, you, don't don't throw them out yet, because uh, there are other teams and other situations when they're dealing with their quarterback. And when I look at what the Cowboys are dealing with, RJ, I, I can't make a whole lot of sense of it. You, you can look on past performance, and I go, well, you know, the Cowboys don't normally do much. And you go, well, guess what? Last year they did this and that. Yeah, the Cowboys are upset with free agency. They've always been burnt, and it's been 12 years. And, you know, you can see all that, and that's talking about things coming in. But when you talk about their own players, it just doesn't make much sense as to where we sit, how we got here. Um, but we do know this. He's got a quarterback that is playing out the string in a one-year deal, the loss of which, uh, he, however he loses them, it's going to be awful. The, the, the financial ramifications are going to be terrible, and the, the ripple effect in different directions, depending on how he loses him, loses him would, be, would be ridiculous. He's got a head coach uh, playing out the string. And he just hired a brand new defensive coordinator that has also only got a one year deal. Um, what would what is it crazy to say that Dak, after being mistreated low these many years, after being at every turn being given the reason why the Cowboys are losing is it's him, that this year he had the career type of year at the right time? He's just done. Maybe Dak's just done with the Cowboys. He don't want to resign. I don't care how much money you give me. I don't, you can godfather me all you want. But I'm out. Here we go. And what if Jerry is looking at that? And Jack's going to be a good soldier and not tell the world that. But he's like, you know, unless you're giving me the kind of money that even Pat Mahomes has to sit down and take a breath, I'm not coming back because I know what the free market is and I know what I'm worth. And I hope I don't sprain a foot in week three and miss all the season. It's funny you say that, um, or, 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 or not that you're joking about an injury, but it's and it's not, not funny, really but, hurt. But I'm just saying, maybe no, no, you no, don't no, get but, all but, of me the next year because I know no, my no, value. I, oh, I didn't know that's what you were going at. But to take that, take what you said at least the way I thought you did. I don't think it's impossible at all at this point. I mean, it it has to be exhausting to be Dak Prescott. I mean, right? Golly, I mean, you cannot do anything without just this horde of idiots coming at you, right? I mean, like. And they're coming for your family. I mean, this week alone, Stephen A. Smith goes on. And I'm not somebody that gets riled up about this, but like Stephen A. Smith goes on national television and tells your brother to shut up. Right. And like, you know, there there are all sorts of pros that and, and that's partly your brother's fault. Right. <laughs> to be very clear here. But like, you know, there are all sorts of pros that come with the attention that that is accompanied by being the Dallas Cowboys quarterback. But after wearing that crown for seven years, I mean, it, you know, heavy is the head kind of thing. and so. I, I certainly agree that it's it's very possible um, that Dak is maybe worn out. It, it exists in the world of possibilities. But what I think more than that, uh, but along the same lines, is it has to be so tempting for Dak to want to hit the open market. To true, I mean, yeah. if if he were to do that, he would do so at the age of thirty one. Now, granted, he he would turn thirty two next summer. So, I mean, whatever team would be getting him for his age thirty two season. But I mean. 31 years old for a franchise quarterback on the open market. Prime time. And you mentioned, you, I, I, I know that you mentioned, you know, like a, a joke of an injury or like a fraud of an injury, but do you recall the last time Dak did get an extension? Or got, it wasn't an extension. It was a new deal. It was coming off of the, the broken That's ankle. Right. Coming off and the so broken like, leg. So it was ankle, not leg. Oh, well, well, and sorry. so even coming off of a broken ankle was able to get record, was able to get the biggest contract in franchise history and a big reason for that is the position he plays kirk cousins you've you've you know made 
you know, quips about it all week long, coming off of an Achilles tear, right, is able to get $100 million guaranteed. So, like, I think in the past, certainly with regards to most of not just NFL but sports history, players have sought out long-term contracts for safety, right? Because I don't know, what if I get hurt? If you're willing to challenge the status like quo. Kirk Cousins did. Like Kirk, or like Dak even. Right. I mean, like Dak played that year on the franchise tag. He knew what was at stake, and he broke his ankle, and he still got paid. Like, what could what could conceivably happen to where he mm-hmm. would not get the bag? Open market. And it's he got that bag against the Cowboys in 2021 coming off the, the ankle when he when they weren't negotiating against other teams. Even if something were to go poorly for him, it would be an open market. They could establish bidders against one another. So it, that that has to be tempting in and of itself because you're talking about a different kind of contract than than we're you know okay, sort of so- normally used to seeing. And and then just to wrap that up, when you tie on the Cowboys part of it all, like you said, maybe you're just kind of tired of the BS. And if that's possible, if not likely, and because we've heard nothing from Dak, and I don't really expect to hear anything from Dak. He said, you know, hey, I'm confident it'll get done. You can go away. It's up to Jerry and those guys to come up with something for him to agree to talk about uh, right now. But if that's this is the situation. And this is true. Let's say that Jerry knows in his heart of hearts, unless I really go to town and go all in, Dak's gone. I can't tell the rest of the world that because I got to keep these plates spinning and keep the the brand alive. So if that's the case, what should we expect Jerry to be doing now? If that is the case, what would be the wise thing to do after a series of ridiculous, stupid, and unwise decisions that got you here? How do you start? to fix a sinking ship. So there are a lot of people who think and who have said over the last 48 hours, but really the last two months, like, and you've said it at intern stretches, like, oh, they're clearly tanking. They're, they're yeah, clearly, I, I, you know, I, I they're clearly planning it. for the future. If you're going to stand by that, and I don't mean this towards you, you're also wrong and silly because they're not even doing that right. You like, well, you know what I mean? Like, like e- e- if that were the goal, they're not doing anything in that direction either well, because they're, doing they're not doing anything right. to. They're not doing anything. Well, Inactivity is the, not the two coaches and expiring contracts. I don't have to worry about anything like that. But, they but know there, it's the end. Are, I know it's the end. There are measures they could be taking to to establish a more secure future, complete, so to speak. Right? They could be signing these, you know, front loaded contracts mm-hmm. so that they have salary cap space in the future. You know, they're not doing that. They haven't taken care of an extension for CD Land. They haven't taken care of an extension for Micah Parsons. They haven't, you know, done anything. So, like, it's it's not, it's equally dumb whether you believe, or, or their approach is equally dumb, whether you believe they're trying to win now, they're all in, or they're focused on the future. They have no, there's no discernible, you know, trail that we can follow that can tell us that they have logic and reason towards one specific direction. They're just doing a bunch of nothing and accomplishing nothing with regards to the future, with regards to the present. They're only hurting themselves and setting themselves back and making themselves look like a joke. If Okay, let's make a let's put lipstick on this pig. So here we sit, bad decisions after another. It, it is uh, the sun's coming up and I'm looking over and, th- and realizing the sum, the sum of all my poor decisions the night before. So how do I begin to fix the situation that uh, I got myself into if you're Jerry? And let's suppose that Dak is informed of it. Unless you godfather me, I ain't coming back. I'll be a good soldier, but I ain't coming back. Um, What would be the move for Jerry now? Wouldn't it just be to sit tight? I'm not spending anything. I'm waiting. No, I mean, it, it would. It would. I mean. Inaction is the worst possible thing, even if you're focused on the future. Because if say you were, say you really believed, right? Say you in your heart of hearts, you know McCarthy stinks. I don't want him around. We're going to move on from him in 2025. Mm-hmm. Then why didn't you do that already? Again, well, like again, I, I woke not... up today. I, I'm waking up today. I'm I'm watching the I'm 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 on blogging the boys and I'm seeing the comments. I'm hearing from my guys. Oh my gosh, people are mad, Jerry. Better get off the boat and come home. It's not pretty around here. And I got to fix what has been a series of bad decisions. And I have this serendipitous moment, the light switch comes on. And now I'm going to start doing the right thing. What's the first right thing he could do today? 
I mean, in my opinion, it would be to extend Dak Prescott. Okay, that would be the thing because that might but, help him eliminate him in the in the short term as well, right? No, but but p- part of the problem with that is you. One of the primary reasons to do that but, is pointless now. But what? But like, if Dak you know, doesn't like, want it, I'm not extending crap. I'm leaving. What? So I, again, Dak's out of the equation. It, he ain't coming back. He's playing for me for a year. If that's my premise, and Jerry knows it, why is he playing the, for you then? I mean, like, he has why? To. He's like, got a year. If, if, no, he doesn't. Like, I mean, like, if if that really is your plan, if you really are that hard headed and decided that you are not bringing him back in 2025, no, no. why, why don't my no? Premise. Then why don't you play Trey Lance? Like maybe I mean, that's like, the I, and I, I hate this idea myself, but why would why would you not do that if you know that he is not coming back? Why on earth would you play him? And what what would be the point of that when you have a quarterback who you traded for in Trey Lance well, how do that we you know could at the very the least answer. see? Maybe that's where we're headed because he's not doing anything else. So I'm what I'm I want to put myself in. If I was a series of bad decisions got me here, what's the first right thing that I can do? So the first right thing he could do would be to say, well, you know, Dak, if you're leaving, you might not play. But can he say that right now? Can he come out today and go, right, from uh, from what I'm getting, this negotiation is not going well. I don't see how anything's going to happen on the Dak front. Uh, I'm starting Trey Lance. I don't think he can say know. that. Because how many free okay, agents but at that point would even why, why do you why do you think he can't say that? He said they were going to go all in, and then they didn't. You know, so, so like it's, it's well, not above him to deal different. with, you know, but it's not above him to deal with the fallout of saying something. But give you know, me so what like, the right no, thing but, to no, do today is. No, you keep changing the question. No, you you keep changing no, the I'm question and moving the goalposts. If the go question the is what is the best thing that they can do for the future if they are decided that they want to move on no, from Dak it, Prescott, it well, is to no. not involve Dak Prescott in the present. I mean, okay. th- th- that is literally just wasting everyone's time. Well, we know that you can't bench a quarterback like that because he still needs to win some games. Why not? Again, if you're asking the question, so like you, you can't, you know what I'm saying? If the question the is, what is the best right thing they thing can to do? do? If the, if the idea is Dak has told him, I ain't coming back. I don't care, and that's why it's, nothing has happened. Then you might be right. Maybe it is to go ahead and say, if, let's start talking. If about If he has Lance. told them that I'm not coming back, then you've got a, a sixty million dollar cap hit backup quarterback because you have to. If if you're not going to compete, if you're not going to go for this year, then you have to, at the very least, do reconnaissance for the okay. future. So, like, if you went at 2024 with a quarterback who you knew you had no future with and at the same time didn't establish any sort of data on the quarterback that you could have a future with, it would be the most overall possible failure achievable. So why would you not? Again, if you're not interested in bringing Dak Prescott back, you can't well, trade him. I'm you can't interested. cut him. I want you back. He doesn't want to come back. I okay, think but if that's the case, then – you you're you're not you're you're not even living in purgatory like you're, you're living in in half purgatory half okay. everywhere else like th- this this is that's why i'm saying like they have you cannot say beyond a shadow of a doubt that they are targeted towards tanking that they are targeted towards going out of this year because we keep you know going in circles because they have different motivations and, and different eggs and different well, baskets they don't battle. have anything lined up in one direction that's what makes this so frustrating Mike McCarthy is sitting out there watching all this go on, knowing full well I got no contract. Do you see any way, if not, if the things progress the way that they're going and very little happens, uh, Dak isn't, or maybe he is, but this team comes back. To, is there any way that a, a short of 15 wins, 14 wins, and nice little win streaks that McCarthy survives even the season? Why would you need to, you talk about start looking at the future now. Um, if I'm McCarthy, man, I'd be. I don't know what the the situation you find yourself now is. I don't even know if I'll have a job in December because there will be no point in staying. And why forego the inevitable? And if you fire him early, you're first in line to go chase the other guys. See, like that's just as dumb in my mind. If if you're so focused on getting in line to chase the other guys, then why do you have him now? Why didn't you fire him? You know, when the season ended to go chase the other guys. Again, that's where none of this lines up. They have conflicting timelines. Nothing that they are – ideally, your core foundational elements of your team are on the same timeline. Well, they have obviously this all is sorts not of con- you know, conflicts all over the place. Well, everything's wrong, RJ. So if everything's wrong, you have to make a right move. So everything I throw, you say, well, you can't do that. Oh, no, well, you can't do no, that. But- well, you can't do that I, either. I, well, well, you got to do something. They, no, but they can do things. You you asked what they can well, do right now. Well, he's telling us, they can, I'm they, not but, doing that. 
Okay, but you keep living in this weird hypothetical that you no. don't want to budge off of. No, but like, and so if that's the case, then you've then you've got to bench him. Then you've got to play Trey Lance. Then you've got to get an extension that with C.D. Lamb. Because if Dak has told you that, if that's the hypothetical that you're leaning on and not coming off of in this conversation, then okay, I know Dak is not a part of the future. And I'm telling my entire team, guess what, guys? We know that. No. It sucks, but it is what it is. We don't want to waste an entire year of your lives. So, C.D., you're a part of our future. Here's your extension. Let's right. get this done. You're going to start working with Trey Lance because we have to understand what you offer as a pair in the future. Micah, you're a foundational part of this organization. Here's your extension. Dak, thanks for the good times, man. It's really awkward that you're going to be QB2 here. We know the cap hit and all that stuff, but you told us you weren't coming back. We had to make a decision. We had to, you know, S or get off the pot because we keep living in both worlds and we're accomplishing nothing. And we understand the position you're in. We understand that we put ourselves in this position, but now we're going to start making some logical and some mature decisions. That would seem to me. You just hit the process that I've been chasing. I think if you're going to start making right steps, if you walk that direction, you're right where you defined it, RJ. I think that's kind of where we might need to start looking. We'll continue talking about it. Oh, by the way, the Spurs it's lost wild. again. Uh, the Spurs <laughs> lost again. Although Wimby got him a double-double. We'll look at what happened with the Spurs last night as they continue this homestand. Though not really. They're going up to Austin. Uh, we're talking Spurs next. This is... The morning huddle here on 941 San Antonio Sports Star. Hey, we're heading toward the end of March, and you know what that means. The uh, mania is just about to begin. And if you're thinking mania, I want you to always remember Bet US because they've been doing this a long time. For 30 years, they've been a sports book, and I've only endorsed one book the entire time I've been over here, and that's BetUS.com. Why, you ask? Because I trust them. I trust them to pay when I win. I trust them to give me the odds that I require. I trust to give them give me the research I require. And then there's the deals. Like right now, they got something I've never seen before. 125% match bonus on your first three deposits for the new guys coming to BetUS.com. Did you hear that? 125% on your first three deposits. 10% better's insurance. That's going right now. All you got to do is call 1-800-BET-US or go to BETUS.com and get yourself signed up. And if you're bringing crypto to the party, 200% sign-up bonus. And that 10% better's insurance, you're not going to beat that. That's why I go to BETUS. Uh, you've probably got them. You need to go back. Go to BetUS.com because they've also got the casino action we're chasing. Before the game, after the game, you're looking for casino action. They have got all you need. That's why BetUS.com is the preeminent. That's why they've been around for 30 years. Get playing today. Get ready for the mania. They're driving to the hoop, and they got offers you need, like 125% on your first three deposits. That's 1-800-MY-BETUS. Call them right now or go to BetUS.com. It's where the game begins. If you miss the Blitz with Jason and Joe, then you miss this. You know, Shereen, it, yeah, you see Philadelphia making moves with the Saquon Barkley thing. The commanders have been as active as anybody. The Giants even, too. And so you look at that, those teams are going to be better than they were this year. Maybe. You know, free agency is really overrated. Where it really helps teams, if, if you have a team that you feel like is close, you get that one player that really puts you over the top. Well, you look at the Chiefs last year, they just make a big splash in free agency because they had their core group of players they built around. When you're a really bad team, this is what you do. So that's a sign that you really that team. You just go back and look at the history of free agency and how many of these guys don't work out. And the majority of these guys will not work out on these contracts. Right home with the Blitz. Afternoons 2 to 6 on 94.1. San Antonio Sports Star. George gets justice. If you've been injured, get George because George gets justice. With over 100 years of combined experience and a relentless dedication to your case, the attorneys at George Salinas Injury Lawyers will fight for what's right. If you've been injured and it's not your fault, get George and get the compensation you deserve. Call George Salinas Injury Lawyers today at 210-225-0909 or visit getgeorge.com. George gets justice. Getgeorge.com. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news. For a limited time, all quarter moon 14 sear AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change. 
and say, bless your heart. Order Moon Plumbing, Heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M16004. TACLA 0074345. At GiveMeTheVin.com, we pride ourselves in being America's best car buyer. Bringing top dollar for your car with an online process that's fast and easy. But you might not know that we've got a special interest in buying your truck. Luxury haulers, workhorse diesels, or just your favorite pickup truck, we specialize in putting the right money on your truck for longer than anybody. Go to GiveMeTheVin.com today and get your check on the spot. From America's best car and truck buyer. Sell us your car. Give me the bin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Getting quality employees to fill positions in your company is essential, but finding those people can be a major hassle unless you use ZipRecruiter. ZipRecruiter makes finding quality people a breeze. ZipRecruiter's advanced technology identifies candidates with the right skills, sends you great matches, then you can easily invite them to apply. Four out of five employers who post on ZipRecruiter get a quality candidate within the first day. See for yourself. Go to ZipRecruiter.com slash free to try ZipRecruiter for free. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash free. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll a Charmin, don't you suck on the party? This is most of roll it back, everybody. Charmin's in this is the best of and hella nice. My crib is always stocked. It's our party vibes. Special little things for my cheeks. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. When was the last time you went to the dentist? Need a new dentist? Hi, Jason Minix here. Go see my dentist at Smile Structure Dentistry Embraces. Smile Structure can handle all your dentistry needs, from general dentistry to oral surgery, orthodontics for the kids, or Invisalign for adults. Mention this ad, get a free exam and x-rays. Better owned with five San Antonio area locations. Learn more and book an appointment online at smilestructure.com. That's smilestructure.com. There's never any FOMO with the iHeartRadio app. You won't ever have to miss out on your favorite shows and contests with this radio station again. Radio 24-7, 365. We're here when you want us. Stay connected and listen anywhere when you download the free iHeartRadio app. The LaTap Texas Cycling Races are back in San Antonio, April 12th to the 14th. Cyclists of all ages, register now to ride in the 160 or 25-mile Tour de France amateur cycling events. You can run, walk, cycle, and celebrate all things Fitness Fiesta at the Athletes Village and Expo. Let Tap Texas register today at FiestaFitFest.com. Presented in part by Thomas J. Henry. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolls for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Go to nomoredraftywindows.com for full offer details. Attention all homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? It's time to replace. Fog between the glass. Time to replace. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's definitely time to replace. If you've put off replacing windows in your home because it's too expensive, here's great news. You can now get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Andrew. Anderson, the company with the most five-star reviews among leading full-service window replacement companies. And right now, you can save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. Just text ENERGY to 200-300 for your free consultation on top-quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Plus, save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings end this month. Text ENERGY to 200-300 right now. Text the word ENERGY to 200-300. Don't wait. Text Text energy to 200 300. Good morning, everybody. Jason Minix here from the Blitz starting at 2 o'clock today. Obviously, another busy day for the Dallas Cowboys with all the free agent signings they haven't done. We'll talk about that. And the guys that actually are getting contracts with new teams. What's the latest? We'll have it. Plus, Spurs Rockets last night were reacting. The Blitz starts at 2. RJ, is that really your breakfast? Uh, I believe it is there, Jason Max. You talking about my oats? I guess your oats and berries did not measure wow. up to the breakfast of champions. Although uh, you're eating oats and berries, uh, I, you, you got me going on the uh, pancake on a stick, and I, and I propose we need a lot more food on a stick. It is the best food I've ever had while driving. It's the easiest you had a to stick. Eat. I mean, it was just fun. Yeah, uh, and it's the easiest thing uh, to eat in a car. It didn't get on my hands. I had stick when I was done eating. I could use a stick to pick my teeth, a little toothpick action. It's brilliant. I'm just throwing that out there. And you've moved on. 
Anywho, for those of us who work the morning schedule and are still in, dealing with that jet lag, thanks for hanging around with, uh, with us this morning. We're just the beginning to a full sporting day. And uh, day three of uh, the uh, legal tampering period is winding down, and they can start signing deals this afternoon, right? Uh, this is Those uh, words of uh, we, we've come to an agreement now can be made a deal today. Official things can happen. Today we'll see, like, Kirk Cousins, right. I would imagine, so, in, in Atlanta or something. And the Blitz will uh, by have the all way, that stuff today. So make sure you're around at 2 o'clock as those deals get done. Uh, by, Joe by the way, Rob, I, cover them. Yeah. I apologize, but we have never needed a three-note three thing more than this. Edward. Oh, so. huge news, Edwin. Yeah. According to NFL Network, the Dallas Cowboys are connected to a free agent. Okay? <laughs> this is the first time in free agency that the Cowboys have been listed as a team with interest in a player. It only took, let's call it uh, 46 hours. Uh, but here we sit, uh, maybe 45 hours. Uh, bated breath. Ian Rappaport tweeting out, as the Packers have rebuilt their running back room, you know, with the good guys, free agent running back A.J. Dillon has several options outside Green Bay, with sources saying he's looking at the Giants, Colts, and Cowboys. There we go. We may have been listed third. But we snuck in there, baby. Let's go. The backup. Uh, that's the news. Uh, and make sure you're here for the Blitz. Uh, Spurs last night played a, a valiant basketball game. And, and uh, you know, the Rockets are on, on a bit of a run. Four road wins. Um, they're at the bottom there in that play-in area. And the West, the West right now is nuts. There's like 14, three teams at 45 wins. Uh the competitive nature of the West is going to be crazy. And unfortunately, the Spurs are going to be caught in this mix. There's a lot of teams that believe they have an opportunity, and the Spurs are playing a lot of those teams, Denver being one of them just around the corner, as uh, the Nuggets are in the midst and probably the best team still in the NBA. Uh, we'll get a taste of or the Austinites will get a taste of Jokic on Saturday. But last night, uh, th we would hope that Victor would have showed up for the Rocket game with a little bit of revenge in his heart, a little bit of malice toward a team that when we last saw him just a couple of days ago, beat him up. I mean, they, they went at him. They, they got in his grill and he gave up 45, or at least when he was on there, he was kind of on the court when 45 were scored with, by a guy in the same position. They didn't have him. They didn't have Alpi. And, you know, it was a more, comp it was a good competitive game, but Wimby is uh, at least the last two games. He's looking a little tired. He's wearing down a bit. Uh, yeah. The, uh, the rookie wall starting to kind of show up. It's a long NBA season for anyone, um, let alone for somebody of that physical size and stature, let alone for someone of that physical size and stature who's putting an entire franchise on their massive shoulders. Um, so that's normal. I mean, you know, we, we knew that Wimby would take some time. It, it's, it's a years-long thing to kind of come into his, his physical peak form. But he just simply isn't there yet. And hey, last night, uh, 31 minutes, five of 12, uh, two of seven uh, from three. Only took one free throw. Uh, 10 rebounds, a double double. I mean, he's a, he's a machine there. But the, when you look in the numbers, tell me you're not, uh, you're not really active without telling me you're not very active. Wimby only taking one free throw. That, that's a symbol of so much. That's a symbol of his offensive efforts. That's a symbol of him only touching the ball 12 times. Well, tell me that you contributed when Wimby did not. Uh, when you went 9 of 15, you were 2 of 2 from the free throw line. You were 4 of 7 from beyond the arc. You had 24 total points. I'm talking about my man. I should have bought you flowers. Trey Jones. Player Put the some game. respect on his name. Yeah, Player of the game. Give him the game ball. It's as good a game as he has played all you around. You back the hell off, time. Rob. All right. You, uh, you give I Trey some credit. To you. Uh, no, he got he, he, 24. Uh, he, he he took and made some open shots. They were It, was, it wasn't volume. He shot over 50%. Uh, you, you, I think you did everything appropriate to the night. But when I see my star with only 12 touches and you with your 24 points. Not a trade problem. And not only, a trade problem. And, well, well, and only five assists. Um, we do need to talk Be about uh, your, your purpose in life. Nobody is going to sit here and tell you that Trey Jones is a legitimate part of the future. Okay. <laughs> However, 
on Tuesday night in Houston, uh, at, at, against Houston, Wemby was off. There's no doubt about it. Wemby kind of hitting a rookie wall. Yeah. All right. Sometimes it can't be Superman. Sometimes it can't be Batman. Sometimes it has to be the flash. And I'm talking the good one, the television show on CW, not the horrible movie that they tried to make. All right. And last night, Trey Jones was the flash. He was the hero we needed. He established order as well as he could. And they almost won the game as a result of it all. And I think that he deserves his props. He was player of the game. That is not a little blue ribbon here thing to hand out. Respect, man. Respect on being the straw that stirred the drink on a night where Wemby was off, where it wasn't the Devin show. You needed that person. That, to me, is a really impressive quality. And Trey Jones deserves more than a pat on the back. He deserves a legitimate, I'm proud of you from us. I'm proud of you, You know, Jones. it's interesting when you look at the dynamics of a team. And you, 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 there are certain things that you feel like you need to, to, you know, your winning formula. And for the Spurs, up until the last couple of games, is Devin plays well and Victor plays well. Uh, the likelihood of winning is so much higher. Last night, Jeremy and Trey Jones played well. They both had as good of games as they can play. Jeremy had had an unfortunate late shot, but 21 points on 9 of 14 shooting. Jeremy, go ahead. 33%. No, I wish he was shooting a little bit higher percentage, especially on that last one. But it shows how the Spurs are going to win. And it's not with Trey Jones scoring 24 and Jeremy Schoen scoring 21. Now, that's a good addition to the other guys getting it. And now some nights they're not going to be on. And there's nights you're going to have to step up. And he did do that. But the intent of this season as by, as by, uh, by activity is every game is just a practice. That's the way Pop has kind of lined this up for us. That These are just glorified practices. We have we punted this season. Uh, and uh, so if that's the intent, I want player improvement. And, and Trey hits some open jumpers. Don't be mad at Wimby. Don't be mad at Trey. I am upset with Wimby. I'm also but, upset with Devin Vassell. He only took six shots. Now, some of that's on him, but it's also some of that's also on Trey. When Trey is taking 15 shots, every shot that he takes on that set is one less shot for Devin and Victor unless there's a rebound. So there's a negative there. You're taking away from your other guys. He did a good night, and I I don't want to get lost in the morass that Trey stepped up to the plate when he had to. But we also saw last night, when we are a team that is competitive on a regular basis, the guys that need to be good or effective need to have the ball in their hands. And it's Trey Jones' job to do that. And Devin took six shots. Some of it's on him, but also some of it's on Trey. Victor took 12 shots. Some of it's on him, but some of it's on Trey. So now there's two situations where some of it's on Trey. See how it affects when you're the point guard and you kind of vary it? I'm not mad. I at understand it. the function of the point guard position, but well, he didn't the, function like, in an appropriate way when your two stars no, combined you're, you're, for 18 you're, I, shots. You're, you're being picky and specific yes, about I one am. function of the position. I am. He thrived from a point yeah, scoring did. standpoint when nobody else around him was able to carry the the water. So he forwent. I don't know if you can say forwent. I don't, I don't know what the past like tense of for though. though. I like yeah, forwent. Right. He he forwent. Um, his priorities and his primary responsibilities in the name of keeping the team competitive. And he deserves a lot of props for the adjustment mm -hmm. for that on the fly. If you do not give Trey Jones ball, some baby. semblance of props, I'm going to be very, very, uh -huh. very upset. I'm giving him a game ball. I think he deserves it. He was the best player on the court last night for the Spurs. Other than, can we give some love to Sandro? Oh, dude, if, you, if that's where you, I mean, golly, then you better throw Trey a parade. I mean, <laughs> come on. <laughs> and he might actually you better go it. drive the boat for him on the river walk and, and sing the songs during the parade for Trey Jones. In all seriousness, we do need to pay really close attention to Victor right now because it does appear that he is running out of steam a little bit and the offense is kind of sputtering. Remember just a couple of days ago how hot this team looked and it was without Devin and Victor, they looked this warm. Um, I don't know what the hiccup is, but this is a, an unfortunate trend that's happening at the worst possible time. This is the home stretch, baby. This is the chance for Victor to go out with a bang, not a whimper as they're playing at home, heading up to Austin amongst all the craziness with South home. by Southwest. Yeah, I don't know how you call it home, but it, it's in the burbs. It's not going to be the easiest thing to what? get done. They're, they're going to have to turn it on.
what if uh, what if the Spurs social team posts a video of Wemby eating a, a, a taco? Let me tell you, if he's eating some kind of weird Austin taco <laughs> with like brown <laughs> vegan tortillas, man, oh Ooh, man, it will not this? be the way I want to go. Austin, I've I've finally connected everything here. Uh, no pun intended. Um, Austin tacos to throw my hat in the ring here are the Spurs City Connect jerseys of tacos. I think you've defined it. There we go. Beauty's in the eye, eye of the beholder, and I do not see it. On the other side, Nick Saban, formerly of Alabama, currently an old curmudgeon. He talked about it yesterday in front of Congress. We're going to hear him, and you decide whether he's on the side of right and good. Uh, we're also looking at the Dallas Cowboys inactivity. And is Dak Prescott the culprit behind all the problems? So much to do, so little time. We'll be right back. This is Norning Huddle, and you are on 94 1. San Antonio sports star. You know, uh, when you wake up in the morning and you're just in pain, it's hard to get your life going. It's hard to get busy. Don't live your life in pain. Arostia is here to fix that. They're all around San Antonio, these highly trained medical professionals with one job in mind, and that's to get you fixed and back in the game as fast as possible. How do they do that, you ask? I'll tell you, it is unique because it's not about pills. It's not about surgery. They get your body to get it fixed itself. I can tell you, I'm living proof. I've had lower back issues most of my adult life. Man, they would come up and grab me, and I'd be on my back for three weeks. That's just how it was. I finally staggered into an Arosti provider about five, six years ago. And when I did, my life changed. Because not only did they get me fixed in a record amount of time, is they taught me how to stay out of the pain. They'll do that for you. They accept most insurances, and you never need a referral to go. Grab a pin. 1-800-404-6050. The website is arosti.com. They got a map of all the providers there. Listen to me close. Don't let pain keep you from doing things that you love. Call Arosti today. They're going to get you fixed, and they're going to do it quick. And when they do, I want you to thank me later. This is 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star, your home for the NBA playoffs. Down the middle of the lane, takes it right to the rim and flushes. KTFM Floorsville. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency on earth. And if you owe back taxes, the news isn't good. The IRS is raising the interest rate it charges on unpaid taxes. And further rate hikes are expected. Most people don't know it, but the IRS adds interest charges to your tax debts daily. So if you owe the IRS today... You'll owe even more tomorrow, and it doesn't stop until you get right with the IRS. The good news is getting right can start with one phone call to Optima Tax Relief, America's number one tax relief firm. Optima's tax professionals specialize in the Fresh Start Initiative, a powerful IRS program that can save you thousands if you qualify. In fact, the experts at Optima have resolved over $1 billion in tax debt for their clients. Call now for a free consultation. Call 800-714-8422. 800 714 800-714-8422. 714-8422. 800-714-8422. Optima Tax Relief. Some restrictions apply. For complete details, please visit OptimaTaxRelief.com. It's time, basketball bettors. It's March Mania. I'm Rob Thompson here to tell you about BetUS.com. Over the years, I've endorsed only one sportsbook and casino, and that's been BetUS.com for years. They've been driving to the basket 30 years and I'm us has got an epic three-pointer going for you 125 percent sign-up bonus on your first three deposits plus 10 percent gambling insurance it's epic get started by visiting betus.com or give them a call at 1-800 my bet us bet us it's where the game begins world championship boxing is coming to san antonio Freddie Roach, legendary trainer of rising star Gio Cabrera, will be headlining the boxing event of the year at the Boeing Tech Port Arena. Stars like Justin Figueroa, Shariah Moreau, along with several Texas fighters are set to light up the ring. Don't miss this epic showdown. Saturday, March 30th. Doors open at 5 p.m. Get your tickets now at dmpboxing.com or call 210-636-99 for details. Brought to you by Everlast, Quintana Rum, and Desi Martinez Promotions. If you've been thinking about buying a new car or pre-owned car, truck, or SUV, think Ansira.com. Browse through thousands of new and pre-owned cars, trucks, SUVs, and RVs. Shop for your next new Chevrolet, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, Ram, Ford, Buick, or GMC. Or if you're looking for an import, we have a huge selection of Kias, VWs, and Nissans. Or for your home away from home, a full line of RVs and campers. And you'll always get the lowest Ansira price in-store or online at Ansira.com. 
Puro San Antonio football is back at the Alamo Dome. Join the herd and watch your Brahmas in the best seats at the best prices. Single season and group tickets are available now. Don't miss any Brahmas action this season, led by legendary head coach Wade Phillips. The Brahmas kick off the season March 31st against the D.C. Defenders in the Alamo Dome. Let's pack the dome. Experience the excitement. Head to theufl.com to buy your Brahmas tickets today. That's theufl.com. Vamos Brahmas! 94.1 FM San Antonio Sports Star San Antonio's Sports Center The San Antonio Spurs lost their second straight falling at home to the Houston Rockets last night. Trey Jones in an extraordinary game scored 24 points. Jeremy Sohan added 21. Wimby had a double-double though only 13 points. They'll return to action on Friday night up in Austin. It's a home game kind of Jokic coming to town. The Spurs uh, get busy. The Cowboys sit idle. Rembignano three. Good! Goes behind the back here. Oh! Little sidestep and a jam by Rembignano. This is the morning huddle on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. With Rob Thompson and the managing editor of Blogging the Boys, R.J. Ochoa. Now, here's Rob and R.J. Hey, gather around. We got stuff to talk about. This is the Morning Huddle. That's R.J. Ochoa. I'm Rob Thompson. Uh, This is hour four. If you missed the first three, what the heck? Set an alarm. Do it right. Uh, You can go to sasportstar.com. And while you're there, you can uh, um, uh, go to the Audio Vault. That's brought to you by AA Best Bell Bonds. That's our podcast central. You miss anything live, you can always catch up right there. But if you were subscribed appropriately, you would have gotten a notification that we were on air. So to do that, go uh, to our YouTube channel, watch us live. Uh, Make sure you are putting a thumb on it. You can join the morning brigade uh, on our bar, the brigade bar. Scroll at your leisure. Call as you'd like at 656-3776. Spurs lose. Last night, uh, another home game in Austin. They are welcoming in Denver, and the next and the 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 once and future MVP in, in Jokic. He's going to win it. It's a, that's a done deal, uh, unless Tatum carries the Boston Celtics. Then we get to see. Him. Well, no, we don't get to see him. The Austinites do. Just around the corner. Uh, let's talk some college football real quick. Um, as we round through the spring games, they're about to get going, and we get an idea who's going to be playing where, and get an idea up there in Texas. See Ewers and uh, Arch go at it. Um, Nick Saban has uh, left the friendly confines of the uh, Tuscaloosa, Alabama, and uh, has gone on a crusade. What drove him from the game was an old age. It wasn't, uh, I don't know, boredom. It was the NIL. He was discussing the NIL in front of elected officials up there in Washington, D.C., and this is what he said. All the things that I believed in for all these years, 50 years of coaching, no longer exist in college athletics. So oh. it's always was about developing players. It was always about uh, helping people be more successful in life. Um, my wife even said to me, we'd have all the recruits over on Sunday with their parents for breakfast. And she would always meet with the mothers and talk about how she was going to help and uh, impact their sons and how they would be well taken care of. And she came to me right before I retired and said, why are we doing this? And I said, what do you mean? She said, all they care about is how much you're going to pay them. They don't care about how you're going to develop them, which is all what we've always done. So why are we doing this? Uh, that's Nick Saban. There's a lot there. Dude. <laughs> Come back to us, Nick. I mean, geez, chill out. The the pearl clutching of you know, Nick, what was what was your salary at Alabama? Um, did you, were you in this for the development of uh, of players? Uh, you know what I mean. You mean like developing this? them for the NFL, developing yeah. them for the paycheck that they brought to the university for which they got absolutely nothing. The very I, reason you had breakfast on Sundays is because your kids couldn't afford to go anywhere else but the Chow Hall and eat that slop. So you know what? You invited them over for a real cooked meal. That's how that thing started. Okay, it's, Nick. It's my fault for assuming this. I honestly thought we were past this point, like where people were saying stupid things like this. Like I thought we were now, now all at the point where we recognize this is the world. It, it's it's not completely fair, but it's certainly more fair. Now it's just about tidying it up because it is its own level of chaos. It's a more preferable level of chaos, in, in my opinion. But, I mean, 
this is just so such a level of grandstanding you know what why are we what are we this, doing this isn't us. mama i don't know mama <laughs> they just don't want to be developed like they used to they, they, they're, uh, they're uppity honorary they, they just don't want to be developed for nothing now suddenly uh, they realize they have value how dare they realize SVP they have value hit hit this really well last night and i saw clarence hill a little while ago had a tweet quoting it and he said i mean just really great kind of line in general but it's not any fun when the rabbit's got the gun. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's what this is. A, you know what's not fun for you, Nick? Uh, Michigan building an amazing team and going and winning a national championship because now it's a, a I don't even want to say a level playing field, but now other people have access to power and to funds. It's it's not a rigged game. Not that it was rigged, but it's not a, a there was, um. you're familiar with Jordan Spieth, the professional golfer? I, I, I know of him, yes. There was this really, really, really long article a few years back that ESPN did on him because he had kind of fallen on some hard times in his career. And in their interview with him, he had fallen out of the top 50 in the world golf rankings. This was before all the live stuff. And he, and he, he was really honest. He said, look, this is really pathetic because it's really difficult to fall out of the top 50. Like you have to be so consistently bad. He was like, you know, the way the, the ranking system is, is that if, if you just are kind of you know mediocre, you can keep your status in the top 50 and that gets you eligible for certain tournaments. And that's kind of how this was for Alabama, right? Like you, you didn't, you know, I don't want to say you didn't have to try, but like everything was not rigged, but worked out for you. And so, man, it's so unfair, Nick, that you, and I don't blame you for, for saying that, like, you don't want to deal with this and it's hard and it's different and it's not what you grew up and what you were accustomed to, but to like, you know, speak down on it and act like it's the sin of all time that you know this is the new world is just incredible pearl clutching in my mind and uh i'm pretty comfortable with the fact is you had a payroll before 2020 before seriously 20, i, mean, I like, think you already had a payroll maybe maybe mrs saban on sunday morning serving the uh the pancakes didn't discuss such things uh but mama and daddy had probably gotten a check or two prior uh, to the last couple of years. I, 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 I can't believe that people buy this slop. This is worse than the one in the chow hall. You know what I mean? Like, this is just, by the way, on the subject of college football or college uh, athletics, Ross Dellinger reporting that Texas A&M is targeting Nebraska AD Trey Alberts as their next AD. So, uh, Trey Alberts, really? Uh, that we'll would be see. a good get. That's a guy who's had his foot on both sides of the fence, former great college football player, uh, really rose to notoriety in Nebraska. Uh, you know, as we've seen the exodus of former AD, who is now Ohio State AD, uh, there's been a definite change in the tenor up there. Um, I didn't realize how deeply ensconced the AD and uh, that old other coach that had two names combined into one uh, were together. I mean, those that was Batman and Robin going on up there. And with the both of them gone, now you, the, there had been some curtains drawn and some uh, some things that had been kind of changed up there from what I'm hearing. So, yes, I think that would be a fine get. Uh, this Aggie uh, gives that one a, a thumbs up. Uh, as we're talking about college sports, and, and we brought it up earlier, uh, I believe, earlier in the week. Have you seen the story about the University of Colorado and their enrollment just skyrocketing? Well, I mean, it's because – they're committing all this fraudulence and, and these sins by paying players. I mean, you know, all these impurities up in Boulder, you know, all these kids want to be a part of them, apparently. I mean, wow. That's I bet what you we Nick should Saban be talking won't about. ever watch Colorado football. Uh, I dare the bus. While we Saban grabbed the news just because he just sounds like Statler and Waldorf from the from the from the Muppets sitting up in the balcony. Um, the real benefit, the real reason why college sports is benefiting from this. Just look at Colorado. Just look at that school. Uh, they hire one guy and bring a little bit of salt and pepper to the game. And oh my goodness, enrollment's up by like 40,000. They're turning kids away. This university is at a level they never even dreamed of. That's like, to, to, to shuck this whole idea is so privileged. You know what I mean? It, right. it is so like, I have a seat at the table and I don't want anyone to have any other, you know, potential position at my table to your point i mean i know that like they flamed out and whatever but still colorado was a national like an lead. obsession like i mean when when has that ever happened like my most vivid memory of colorado prior to this past season was them getting blown out 70 to 3 in the big 12 championship game if it was it was like 70 to nothing or whatever it was against vince young's longhorns 
I mean, like, how cool that we live in a world where a university like Colorado can turn themselves around because they can now utilize this avenue, call it of team building, of roster construction, of enrollment opportunities, and that that leads to all these, you know, students potentially, you know, think, think about like the, the potential good that comes from like the future alumni of Colorado. Like how cool that that exists for a community that otherwise would not have happened if not for this new world. Does Mrs. Primetime have a pancake social on Sundays? What I, I just, hope again, you know, when I, I could not have dreamed about it's not a dream, it's a nightmare. Daddy, you know, why, why are we world. even doing this, Daddy? Why, why I mean, are we even here? We, the, the education is the payment. I mean, they, they, they come here for school and, and we provide them an education, three meals a day, a warm bed to sleep in. Well, a cod. I, I'm talking to the you know the powers that be about a, a community Netflix login <laughs> because I understand that they have to have some level of entertainment. Here we said it's early in the day, though the expectation is not a lot will happen. Though we know of at least one running back that has been in, mentioned in the same sentence as the Dallas Cowboys. It's incremental growth. Day three of the legal tampering ends. With contracts being available today, we're going to talk about where we sit. What are the what the hell are the Cowboys doing? And can the Cowboys act more like the Texans? So many questions and so little time. We'll look at the Spurs too. They went down, but they got Denver around the corner. Stay here. We got stuff to talk about. It's the morning huddle, and you're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. You know, you get up every morning, and you step underneath a Connecticut water softened shower, and you start your the, the, the your day the way most South Texans dream of. You know, you get that good aqua for water running over you. It's no, it's hard to have a bad day knowing full well that that water's clean and pure. You're not have to worry about it getting in your mouth. You know that when it washes off, there's not going to be a bunch of sediment on your skin and in your hair. You know that uh, that coffee cup you're going to grab and it's not going to have that white stuff that you see at other folks' house. You know that the water softener didn't cost you any money. You know you got a water softener. You didn't even have to plug in. Didn't stop one volt of power. You got a water softener that only works when you do. You got a water softener that is by the Water Quality Association voted the most economic. You've got the best. So carry on with your day. If you don't have that, listen close. The Canippas in Connecticut want to offer you an opportunity to have the best in your home free of charge for 90 days. If you'll call the Canippas today at 656 Pure, Connecticut will come out and put a water softener, the quality of Connecticut, in your home for 90 days and let you decide what you want to do. It's an easy decision on that 91st day. You can be just like me. You're going to be a Connecticut customer for life. They say it. I believe it. It's the last water softener you're ever going to own. Find out for yourself. Call 656 Pure today. Let them take care of you. Call Connecticut or go to ConnecticutSA.com for all the details. Remember, you got to sing it while you type it. Connecticut SA. Connecticut's got the water softener you need. Call them today at 656 Pure. Put one in your home. It'll stay there. And I know you're going to thank me later. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star Spring Golf Classic is set Monday, March 25th at Golf Club of Texas with plenty of prizes, including a shot at $50,000 in a trip to the big game. Presented by Sierra Auto Group. Go to sasportstar.com and get signed up. A four person scramble, $120 per player to join, or a group of four can sign up together for $400. Then, after your round, join the San Antonio Sports Star gang for the after party, where the Blitz will be live at 90 Proof Bar and Grill on the corner of Highway 90 and Lucky Ranch. 10 minutes from Golf Club of Texas. It's San Antonio's Spring Golf Classic, benefiting the Will Smith Foundation. Monday, March 25th, presented by Flight by Yingling and 941, San Antonio's Sports Star. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning hair off my bathroom floor. At least my Swiffer Sweeper makes it easy. Sweeper heavy duty dry cloths have ultra thick pads to trap and lock hairs like a hair magnet. And when I'm finished cleaning up my hair, Sweeper takes care of his too. Now the hair is gone. All thanks to Swiffer. Try Swiffer Sweeper heavy duty dry cloths. I promise you'll love them or your money back. And also try Swiffer Sweeper wet to make quick work of tough sticky messes. What companies would you want to work for? Just Capital is a nonprofit that tracks which companies are a force for good. Companies like Bank of America, which just earned the prestigious Just Capital 2024 seal. Bank of America is ranked number one in the banking industry and number one for their ongoing commitment to workers, offering best-in-class benefits, including a minimum wage of $25 an hour by 2025. Visit JustCapital.com to learn how a just business 
is a better business. Furnished by Just Capital. San Antonians love a good party. And the Valero Texas Open is one you don't want to miss. Enjoy food, drinks, and the world's best PGA Tour pros as they tee it up at TPC San Antonio. Proceeds help us continue a long-standing tradition of giving back to our community. So buy tickets on ValeroTexasOpen.com and join us April 4th through the 7th. Hi, it's Jason Minix from The Blitz. Did you know your testosterone levels start to decline in your 30s? So if you're feeling a lack of energy and drive, it could be caused by low T. Get your levels tested at Synergenics. They make it quick and easy, and with the convenience of their on-site lab, you'll get your results back at your first visit. At Synergenics, you will get customized care from testosterone specialists. Book your appointment now. Go to FixMyLowT.com. That's FixMyLowT.com. This is the time of year to enjoy life. Stop letting that pain in your joints keep you from doing what you want this spring. Call QC Kinetics now. QC Kinetics is the nation's leader in regenerative medicine. I'm talking about lasting joint pain relief with no surgery, no drugs, and no downtime. It's a fact. QC Kinetics is literally transforming lives. Their advanced treatments harness your body's own natural ability to restore and repair damaged joint tissue. Pro athletes have been doing this for decades, but now this life-changing treatment is available for you. So you can walk, run, climb stairs, play golf, and move again, pain-free. No pills, no risky surgery. QC Kinetics has tens of thousands of satisfied patients who have reclaimed their mobility. So take action now. It's a great use of your tax refund check, by the way. Call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. 210-571-0318. 210-571-0318. That's 210-571-0318. Locations in Hollywood Park, Westover Hills, and New Braunfels. Texting privacy policy and terms and conditions posted at textplan.us. Texting enrolled for recurring automated text marketing messages. Message and data rates may apply. Reply stop, opt out. Go to nomoredraftywindows.com for full offer details. Attention all homeowners. Do you know when to replace your windows? Feeling too hot or cold? It's time to replace. Fog between the glass. Time to replace. Spending too much on expensive energy that literally goes out the window? It's definitely time to replace. If you've put off replacing windows in your home because it's too expensive, here's great news. You can now get a free in-home window consultation and free price quote from Renewal by Anderson, the company with the most five-star reviews among leading full-service window replacement companies. And right now, you can save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. Just text ENERGY to 200-300 for your free consultation on top-quality affordable windows or patio doors for no dollars down, no payments, and no interest for a year. That's right. You don't pay a dime for an entire year. Plus, save $359 off every window and $887 off every door. But hurry, these big dollar savings end this month. Text ENERGY to 200-300 right now. Text the word ENERGY to 200-300. Don't wait. Text energy to 200-300. Good morning, everybody. Joe Ryan Eagle here coming up on the Blitz. They can finally sign those big contracts that everybody's been agreeing to in the NFL. But the free agent period continues in the NFL. Will the Cowboys do something? Uh, I wouldn't count on it. Plus, the Spurs took on the Rockets last night. We're going to react to all of that. Hey, Rob, Jason and I have a bet. You wearing shorts to the roof pub or those khaki slacks? I'm not sure I own slacks or trousers. Do you have trousers, RJ? No, do you have suspenders? I do. Well, I I have braces. What's There's that? a big like, difference. There are two things that you use to drape over your shoulders that hold your pants up. Suspenders, they clip. Braces, they button. Little little so nods for you. These are the little the little like snappy things that go over your shoulders. Well, not all of them are and, snappy. Uh, in fact, suspenders are normally the elastic that that but and then braces are normally yeah. woven of leather or other things that aren't oh, elastic. Not, so they, they have they have less give. The braces they have no give. Saying. You you have to adjust them according to whatever. Oh, dude, I, this I, sounds horrible. Why no, would you want and, and once you go uh, braces, you don't go back. Well, for your teeth, too. Well, it's hard to go back at that point. Mm-hmm. Uh, let, let's talk some cow- – I'm headed in a, in a direction. And, and what, where I want to end in about um, about 20 minutes is there's now a full-on arms race in the state of Texas. The Houston Texans are a couple of spaces ahead, a few moves ahead. Uh, the, the, the Texas Rangers got one. The Astros are trying to get back. The next Texas team to bring home a trophy as we sit right now in the beginning of baseball 
as we're watching Ooh. football come into play. Uh, I think we could throw in the FC squads, Houston, Austin, Dallas. I don't know anything about them, but maybe. We have established a championship program. Uh, but we're not, not the world I want to talk about yet. that in, in about in, in a little while, in about <laughs> okay. 10 or 15 minutes, because there's things that are going on that are going to play into that conversation. Uh, and uh, uh, we can hear that McCarthy thing forever. And uh, if we would play that, and they're very quick. Play it again. Let's let's hear that drop. We have established a championship program. It's just not the world championship yet. And then what we need to do is tie that in into in my definition of all in is different from yours or, or okay. something to that effect. I think if we tied those together, we'd sum up where we are right now. Uh, I saw a Marcus Spears tweet about another player on another team. He goes, oh, that's a great move. It's good to see teams trying to win. Um, this morning, the Baltimore Ravens created salary cap space, the same Baltimore Ravens who lost the AFC championship game, despite having the MVP at quarterback, they went out and got Derrick Henry. They lost Patrick Queen and that sucked. Um, but it's refreshing. The chiefs are seemingly gearing up to do something. The Texans are moving. The Jaguars are moving. The Colts are moving in the NFC. The Eagles are obviously always moving. The giants are moving. The commanders are moving. The Niners are moving. That's why, like, if you want to play the game of, like, who's the next Texas team to win a championship, I mean, the Cowboys might be number, like, five on but my you, top You five, say but. that, but, but Vegas is still saying the Cowboys have an odds-on, they're the odds-on favorite to win the NFC East. Uh, still, the money line's telling me no, the Cowboys. they're money, not. They're, they're not the favorites. Up until the when? Yesterday. Money no, line told are, me the Cowboys uh, were first. They are, as of this moment in time, according to DraftKings Sportsbook, they are second. The Eagles have the best odds. This and was I, true yesterday, too. Was, uh, Eagles was that with the it's, addition it's of Saquon? It's plus 120 for Philly, plus 135 well, what, what, for Dallas. So, you know, if you know, Vegas always knows. The books always know. And, and this is with a some loss of Pollard, of Armstrong, of... Well, I guess we, we will have lost Tyron. I, I don't think we can quantify him as totally lost yet. And it'll be oddish. And they are still ahead of two of the teams and tied with the best one. So while they've been inactive, the, the, uh, in the eyes of those that really are, uh, you know, have a financial vested interest in this, they really haven't darkened in optimism, at least by them that care. I think that's the problem. And, and, Look, odds are important, and, and Vegas always knows, but they are also, you know, yeah, this is money rent. Yeah. <laughs> like, there's a lot of people trying to get, you know, the people to buy in on the Cowboys, and maybe this might be the lowest odds you'll ever get on, on the 2024 Cowboys. Who knows? But it's it's hard to believe. I mean, they're not. They are. It's hard to. They're a worse roster than the Eagles, certainly, and they have been for right. some time. The and it's worth mentioning. We sit here and we talk about like their accomplishments and et cetera, et cetera, and they won the division. It took Philadelphia suffering what was quite literally a historic collapse. And and that is what opened the door for Dallas to win the division. And I don't want to poo-poo because the Cowboys still won 12 games. They still would have been a playoff team, obviously. They probably would have won a playoff game had they not won the division because they wouldn't have had to face the Packers. But, I mean... We we can't, you know, stand on that ground and act like, oh, my gosh, it's it's amazing that they're doing this. And, you know, Vegas thinks that they're close. And so blah, blah, blah. They're they're letting every. I guess to that point, if they are that close in Vegas, as even losses, imagine how much better they would be if they added. Right. right. Like it, you know, so wh why just settle for, you know, having the you know close to best odds to winning the division? And I think that's the frustration for so many Cowboy fans is if we are that close and you did so much last year and we don't feel like we're that much further away this year. Why aren't we doing the same things? Why aren't we again going at it? Because, you know, it was a terrible loss, but we weren't that far away. So there's that. And then you compare where the Cowboys are, where you feel like, man, they have walked the plank. No matter which way they turn, they're going to end up in the ocean. I mean, it's this is as bad as it could be. And then you compare them to the Texans, who seem to be making every move right. Not only are they getting guys, they're getting them cost-effectively. They're filling holes that they needed to fill, and they're doing it within budget. And not only is it free doing... agency, it's trades. They're doing everything right. And I start to say, well, why? Why is it suddenly Houston? Is it D'Amico? Is it CJ? Is it the non-zoo quality 
of Texas or the Texans? Is it the taxes? What is it that brought the Texans to a position of just almost mastery of a three days of free agency? I think it's also partly money. <laughs> well, I mean, it's good to have the money to fair. spend, but a lot um, of teams have money. No, I mean, Danico Autry got a two-year $20 million deal. Uh, Daniil Hunter got a two-year $49 million That's the money deal. There, yeah. And I mean, so like money matters, but culture matters. And you look at the Texans a year ago had the worst culture in the NFL, and, how much and they the, turned it around. So the culture, you, find, you do believe, it, it plays has played a huge role in this. Yes, yeah. and I don't want to say that C.J. Stroud deserves no credit for that, but I think that D'Amico Ryan deserves a lot of credit. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, and Pledge could speak to this more confidently than me, I think Cal McNair deserves a lot of credit for that. I think that, you know, they, they are, you know, doing what they can to get this house in order, a house that had gotten way out of order. I mean, so they have established something legitimate, and they have money to spend, and, and they have resources to work with, obviously. But the money to spend is a big deal. Like, this all ultimately comes down back to money. Shout out Nick Saban, obviously. Mm -hmm. And so from a money standpoint, you have the thing that everyone wants. You have the franchise quarterback, but you also have it on Nas. You have the franchise quarterback on a rookie contract. So you you have to take advantage of this window. This is something that, quite frankly, literally every team has understood that has had this opportunity save for the Dallas Cowboys. The Cowboys obviously had Dak Prescott on a fourth-round rookie contract. They did nothing to maximize that potential. We've seen the Chiefs way back in the day when Mahomes was on his rookie contract. It didn't work out that way. They still won the Super Bowl, but they signed Sammy Watkins when, when right. that was going on to big money. And why? Because they had a quarterback on a rookie contract. Even the Chicago Bears, who drafted Mitchell Trubisky in the same round, they signed Allen Robinson. They, they traded for Khalil Mack. They went in on these things because they had Mitchell Trubisky on a rookie contract, and they believed in that. And it didn't work out, but it was still the right process. The Rams, which, when Jared Goff was on his rookie deal, the Eagles twice when Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts were on their rookie deals, they have attacked their roster because they know that is the best window of opportunity and the texans have the culture fit they have the vibes they have the really you know uh attractive quarterback he's super cool he's super likable he's the reigning rookie of the year he's got this bright future good for them for for doing everything they can to stretch it out as far as possible a couple of things in there if the cowboys had done it right let's say and approached it you know done the legwork ahead of time they'd extended dak they'd done the appropriate things there they had uh signed the right guys and done whatever, would you still feel comfortable that even if they hadn't brought in every free agent, they hadn't gone and spent a lot of money on running back, if they'd done a couple of things, would you still be on the, they could still win a Super Bowl? Because we've come a long way in just a couple of weeks. Because I still felt that after Green Bay, even though I'm kind of done with the whole process, I still feel like even up until the loss of three starters, that there was enough talent on this team to go win it. They didn't need to do they a win whole a Super Bowl. Lot. Because they have a franchise quarterback. And, and and if you have that, it's possible. There are varying, you know, ranges of possibility, obviously. But if you have that, it is possible that you catch enough fire and it works out for you. So they've got that at the very least for 2024. But they are weakening their chances. And not only weakening by not doing anything mm -hmm. themselves, but everybody else is improving their chances. So, you know, they're they're shrinking and everybody else is growing. I mean, they blew out every team in the division effectively this past season. The Giants are so much better. The Commanders are so much better. And they're about to get a franchise quarterback. The Eagles, I respect the Eagles so much. I, I don't really feel that way about their fan base. But I, I really admire and respect how they can get close and close and close and close and close. And it's not enough. And it's not enough. And it's not enough. And they take chances. They take swings. And some of them hit. And some of them miss. But none of them just continually pursuing all avenues of roster construction in the NFL. You have to be obsessed with this. You cannot purposefully fight with one hand behind your back. That's what the Cowboys are doing. They're saying this free agency business. Pff, do you know how good we are at drafting? Have you seen the 2023 draft class? All right, you you stand back and you watch. And so now they have pigeonholed themselves into needing to draft certain positions. And they will tell us that they did not draft for need, that they drafted the best players available, even though they will line up perfectly with their needs. And they don't even have a volume of picks to properly, even if they do completely dominate the draft, address every need that they had, not only when the offseason began, but certainly as a result of free agency and the exodus of players that we've seen so far. Yet they are closer to a title than our very own Spurs. Let's look around the rest of the state and see the state of each union. Which team is closest to a title? We'll talk about that. Amongst other things that might have fallen through the cracks is we got a, 
a lot to cover. Spurs losing, Cowboys chasing their tail, and the rest of the NFL beneficiaries as well. Don't go anywhere. There's more to do. This is the Morning Huddle. You're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Uh, there's only one place to go today. As the mania begins, I want you to head over to BetUS.com. You know why? Because they got a deal going for you new types that haven't been with BetUS.com like me for years and years and years. If you're bringing some money, they'll match it up to 125%, and they're going to do it three times. Ain't nobody else doing that. You're not going to hear about that from other books. And on top of that, how about 10% betters insurance? On top of that, if you're bringing crypto, 200% on your sign-up bonus. That's what BetUS.com does. If you want to get it right now, call 1-800-MY-BETUS or go to BetUS.com. Get yourself signed up. You'll be playing post haste with their money not yours yeah that's what i said it's time for basketball betters to get going with a mania head to the basket with betus.com and you get a little bit of and one action well three times that's 125 percent bonus that's available to you right now why do i love betus.com because i trust them they've always paid on time and they've got everything i'm chasing in a book because it's not just about the sports they've also got the casino action games as well well you it's a one-stop shop before the games after the games they got the games you want to play that is betus.com betus.com coming with crypto coming with cash they got the money you need get ready to play the mania is here betus.com is the place it's where the game begins it's coming it's almost here a 15 seed will head to the elite eight 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star is your home for college basketball's national championship. On their way to their 12th national title game. 68 teams, Sweet 16, Elite 8, the Final Four, one winner takes all. Hear it all on your home for March Madness. 94 1 San Antonio Sports Star, presented by Westwood One urgent Camp Lejeune settlement message. On September 6th, the government announced it will soon begin providing fast, guaranteed settlements to Camp Lejeune Marines, families, and civilians. Awards will range between $100,000 and $550,000 with an option for higher amounts. If you or a loved one spent time at Camp Lejeune and suffered cancers of the bladder, liver, or kidneys, leukemia, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Parkinson's, or kidney issues, you may qualify for compensation and could be paid within 60 days after accepting your settlement with your VA benefits fully protected. You may be entitled to a significant financial award for your Camp Lejeune claim, but you must act now. Call the James Harris Law Camp Lejeune helpline now to get the compensation you deserve. We're already fighting for thousands harmed by the water at Camp Lejeune. Call now or you may forever lose your right to be awarded a settlement between $100,000 and $550,000. For your free evaluation, call 800-377-6363. 800-377-6363. 800-377-6363. Did you hear? Macy's One Day Sale is going on today. Refresh your wardrobe for spring with great deals on brands you know, like 40 to 60% off Anne Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, Style & Co. and more. And add your flair with 30 to 50% off shoes, handbags, and accessories. Plus, get 15 to 65% off home updates from Cuisinart, Lennox, and more. Macy's Star Rewards members earn on every purchase, except gift card services and fees. Savings off regular sale and clearance prices. Exclusions apply. By texting 64,000, you agree to receive recurring automated marketing messages from Babbel. Message and data rates may apply. No purchase required. Terms apply. Available at babbel.com slash TNC. My new exercise bike. Yeah, more like my $1,500 coat rack. At Babbel, we get it. Learning something new is hard, especially a new language. My Spanish starts and ends at audios. Make it easy on yourself with Babbel. In just 10 minutes a day, you can start having real conversations in as little as three weeks. Hola, Spanish. It starts here. To try Babbel free, text RADIO to 64000. Text RADIO to 64000. Hey, poker players, the Big Blind is open. With a true Vegas feel, the Big Blind is the premier poker room in San Antonio, featuring an upscale environment catering to players from all abilities. Whether you are seeking high-octane tournaments or lively cash games, the Big Blind has a game for everyone. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road, just down from the Roop Hub, offers daily cash games to daily, weekly, and monthly tournaments. Learn more online at TheBigBlindSA.com. The Big Blind at 281 in Redland Road. Listen to this station anytime, anywhere on Odyssey. Odyssey is your new audio home for all the music, news, sports, and podcasts that matter to you. Odyssey. That's A-U-D-A-C-Y. 
Buyers Barricades is proud to provide traffic control rental and sales for work zones and events in the San Antonio area and beyond. Buyers Barricades, the Texas authority in barricade rental. Learn more online at buyersbarricades.com. That's buyersbarricades.com. Guys, did you know your testosterone level impacts your energy, libido, sleep, weight, hair loss, mood, and even ED? And right now, Revive Men's Health San Antonio will check your testosterone for free. They've helped thousands of men since 2011 feel and perform better. They're so confident they can help you, they even guarantee it. Schedule your free testosterone test, exam, and consultation today. Call 210-615-7777. That's 210-615-7777. Or visit revivemenshealth.com. Nigel, what's up with your hair? Joel, prices are insane these days. I'm cutting my own hair. Folks, nobody likes paying high prices. Good news, for a limited time, all Quarter Moon 14-seer AC systems up to three tons are installed in your house for only $69.99. Now is the ideal time to take care of your home at the lowest price of the year. Joel, I like saving money. I'm an influencer. Everywhere I go, people hand me change and say, bless your heart. Quarter Moon Plumbing, Heat, and AC. 210-651-5899. License number M160044. TACLA 0007434. 941. Punch it! You're riding with Robin RJ. This is the morning huddle. Yes, it is the morning huddle here on San Antonio Sports Star. We're huddling up, starting the play, and that'll go all day. Greeny's just around the corner. I expect him to come to work. Romy's grabbing a vine, and the blitz will be uh, here at two o'clock, summing up what would be. Uh, what time is the official ability uh, time that uh, contracts can be submitted and signed? Is that like noon? That would be 3 p.m. Central. 3 Central, uh, 2 Eastern. Right? So about That's an hour correct. after. No, 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 no. 3 Central, 4, four Eastern. Eastern. So about an hour after the, uh, wow, well, man. I, I was told there'd be no math. About an hour after. Uh, you know, not that those matter, but it, it will be proof that the agreements were in fact made. And that'll that'll come today. Um, I asked the question as we went to break, which team in the state of Texas is closest to a championship today? Now, certainly we've already got one, the current in the, in the Rangers. I'm not sure if they're closer than anybody else as we sit today, but certainly we have to put in consideration. Um, I don't think it's as, it's a crazy question uh, to, to throw out there because I do think it's, uh, we got two teams that are close. They're not playing football, but. We have well, established a championship the- program. It's just not the world championship yet. Thank you, Mike. Uh, you can include colleges if you'd like. I, I don't think you it know? affects the the lineup any. So I I put together a top five in the break as I see. I don't have any collegiate teams to be very clear. Okay, Texas is the as far as I'm concerned. You want to hear my top five? I I, I do. I do. So uh, the prompt was the next Texas-based professional team to win a title. And I said you could include colleges if you want. If you want to call college football a, a professional sport, it is. You. But, um, but it, they, nobody made my list. Number five, to go in ascending order for me, the Dallas Cowboys. And me, All the way down at five. Okay. Dude, their roster is bad. And they're in a position where everybody else around them is getting better. Number four, the Houston Texans. I, I think the Houston Texans have a better chance. The only thing that makes me lean against the Texans is the fact that they share a conference with Patrick Mahomes. And so it's just like he's inevitable right now. It's difficult to imagine. But, but in a far Mahomes closer world, than the Cowboys. Right. Uh, it's worth mentioning, though, on an NFL front, because these are the two NFL teams, that DraftKings currently has the Texans as plus 2,500 or at plus 2,500 odds to win the Super Bowl and the Cowboys at plus 1,700. So the Texans still way beneath the Cowboys in terms of Super Bowl odds. Although, again, some of that is circumstantial and because money, Dallas yeah. and where they play. Um, so that's number four for me. Number three, I can't wait to hear your Texas Rangers. Uh, the reigning World Series champions, obviously, but uh, they are, yeah, I mean, they're they're kind of stuck. Uh, if you go off of Fangraphs' projections, the best side in baseball when it comes to stuff like this, they are one, two, three, or one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Wow. They have the thirteenth best odds to no win the World Series for the Rangers at one point seven percent. They trail um, the Diamondbacks, the Cardinals, who they beat obviously in the World Series, the Cardinals, the Orioles, who they beat in the playoffs, the Blue Jays, the Phillies, the Twins, the Mariners, the Rays, the Yankees, obviously the Astros, the Dodgers, and the Braves. Uh, so that's number three on my list. Number two. Oh, I'm okay. I mean, and some of this is 
is because I don't know get... who this team is and how to quantify because it's not going to be who I. It's going to be a soccer no, team, number, right? No, no, no. Number two for me, and again, just playing odds a little bit here, the Dallas Mavericks, and I don't think they're close. But I mean, that represents how far away I think everybody is in the state of Texas from winning the title. See, I thought um, you were going to say something about Houston or Dallas's well, soccer team. I think they're, I think they're closer to winning an NBA title than the Cowboys are to winning the Super Bowl, obviously. And I, and I think Houston is inhibited by the Mahomes factor. That's right. really the only thing that's weighing the Texans back in my mind. But Luka is amazing. And when Luka's on, if you have that guy, you can win an NBA title. Like one superstar can power you to a title. And if they kind of find themselves, obviously, they have a, a Mahomes-ish level barrier to get through, obviously, as well in the West. But, you know, that's what it is. So that's number two for me. Number one for me, the Houston Astros. Yeah. I think that they are the Texas-based team with the best chance to win a title soon. I think the Astros are certainly closest. And they would be my one that would I pick there. But the others, I, I but you, the, the Cowboys, Astros are your one? No, no, I, the Astros are the most likely, but we'll, we'll count. Okay, them so that, they're your number one. Yeah. Okay. But let's start at five. Um, okay. okay. I know nothing about the soccer. I, I understand Austin is better than expected. That's all I really know. Austin FC? Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. Do you know anything of it? So I, I'm, I'm, I'm well, coming no, to this. McConaughey owns them. That was my thing. Oh, that was, I don't know that, that's know. worth the <laughs> so, point anyway. But yeah. I, if we're just counting five, to me, it's the Mavs at five. Wow. Okay. I mean, they're they're closer than the Spurs, and they're closer than the Rockets, but uh, um, they're they're distant. Uh, See, I definitely think they're ahead of the Cowboys in their own individual chase. But you, I, I guess, maybe you disagree. And so then the after that, five. yeah. And then after that, and again, this is the upper echelon. I'm not saying they have no chance, but if I'm listing those that are closest, it's the Rangers. And number four. That's so you four. have them lower than I do. Yeah. Wow. I think, I, you know, lightning in a bottle. And I mean, Vegas is telling me that the team that they beat in Arizona has got a better shot. And others do as well. So I, I still think the Rangers are really good. They're closer than they've been, but they're not going to repeat. Um, after okay. that, it's the Cowboys. And number three. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. So you have a little bit more faith than I do. Yeah. But yes, they're down a tyrant. I'm used to that. Um, Biotish. Yeah, I mean, I survived with a Connor for a while. I know what it's like to have a, a less than average center. Uh, defensive okay. line, you know, I've got superstars over there. I got at least one. I still think that this is a team that's headed toward the playoffs. That's got twelve wins in them. Even if they don't, uh, you know, upgrade at any other position, that and, and as long as they don't lose anything else and injuries don't get in the way, I still think this is a pretty decent team. And just because, as bad as they've done some other things, they've done a lot of other th good things over the last couple of years, and there's talent there but I'm not all the way in. Okay. Uh, Number two? Texans. That's pretty and, high. You know, and, and it, it's very high, and you gave the reasons why I shouldn't. But that, the Texans are going to go a couple of ways, uh, one of two ways next year. And it, it's going to be harder because they're going to be playing a more difficult schedule. So they're going to be playing more difficult teams and road games and things that they didn't have to do this year. But, you know, one of the things they did yesterday is they got tougher with Joe Mixon. And last year, you know, they lived by the seat of their pants, and it seemed like no team was closer to catastrophe more consistently than the Houston Texans, and they always escaped on the positive side. There's something about that team that wins. They understand it. And I don't know if you can carry that momentum in, but they got tougher, and they were I don't think they were a very tough team last year, and I think defensively they went and got some dudes that, you know, might be at the end and might be kind of bargain basement, but they're going to be tougher and are going to add to the locker room. I like the way the Texans are going. I think they've they're in a far better position to be successful. You know, they got to get through, a, climb a higher mountain to, just to get out of their conference. But um, I, I think that they're there. And, of course, the Astros are so close, man. Just a couple of breaks here. Uh, they're still as deep and talented as any team in baseball. Yeah. Now, I, I think that there's a clear gap between the Astros and the second. Um, now, Darth Lucifer33 has a great point in the chat. Uh, we overlooked the Dallas Stars. See, uh, I, so again, the, the hockey, yeah, I probably did. I know nothing of it. I'm kind of Well, they they certainly have a better chance than maybe they're number two right now. Um, they are first place in the West they really? at the moment. They have 89 points, um, but it does feel, I mean, I am a, a very noted Boston Bruins fan because um, I bought the cap. And so, I don't know. It's, it's a little bit, a uh, little bit. More crazy, uh, banking off, but they they definitely deserve to be in the conversation. But I, I still think that there's a significant gap between the Astros and anybody else. The you know, Astros, I mean, yeah, 
they've just been doing it for so long at this point. And we always ask the question uh, regarding uh, Jerry, does he ever feel any pressure in the Metroplex to be more successful considering the fact that, you know, the Rangers got him a trophy and uh, the Mavericks seem to be, you know, kind of coming and going, but with bigger superstars and that way. They nothing. also have a trophy in the, in the, in the drought era. To right. Be clear. And, right. But I don't think that, that weighs into any of Jerry's actions at all. He owns the city as he owns the state and the country of sports, no matter what, what is going on. As we look forward to who's going to win it all, you, there was a um, USA Today has had a poll as to the best professional baseball stadium going right now. And, you know, whenever, so, you, yeah. And for a, there were, they're obviously checklists, but when you combine, you know, atmosphere and winning and, I, I don't know what all went into it, but their choice I found odd because of all the places that the city they named is probably the least synonymous with baseball, at least since I was in high school and Willie Stargell was still playing. Um, but Pittsburgh, the Pirates. So they had the best ballpark, according to the USA Today's assessment crew. Um, the vibes, you know, the view, the scenery, the wet. Like, think about the weather there for most of a baseball season. It's pretty incredible. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you can you can watch a lot of outdoor games there. That's a that's a selling point, I think. Uh, do you know who number two was on the list? If I was a voting guy, um, probably a California, maybe San Diego. It was actually Oracle Park, um, the one we mentioned uh, uh, earlier the, today the Giants. in in San Francisco. I have been to the Padres Stadium. I went last summer, at Petco. And it was so cool. It was yeah. very different uh, from like Minute Maid is again my personal favorite, but it's got like an old school feel. It's more like a modern old school park, like your Wrigley's or your Fenway's or whatever. But it's just not a hundred years old. Uh, Petco is like walking into the future. Uh, it, it, it's it's uh it's it, everything is sleek and like chrome, and the walls are made out of glass. You know what I mean? Like it, it's very mm -hmm. San Diego. -y. Uh, but that being said, so th this is the top ten from USA Today's list. You've got PNC Park in Pittsburgh, Oracle Park at number two in San Francisco. Um, Wrigley is number three. Camden Yards in Baltimore, Steve. which everybody hates, uh, is number four. It's a outdated, Fenway's yeah. number five. Petco, the aforementioned, number six. Dodger Stadium, number seven. Coors Field in Denver is number eight. T-Mobile Park, which we talked about in Seattle, is number nine. And Target Field in Minneapolis, which also is highly talked about as well, uh, rounded out the top ten. It's T-Mobile Park for Seattle now? Yeah. Didn't it used to be Safeco? I think so, but it's I didn't know they now. had changed the name. That's to me, I've had the most ex enjoyable experience at Safeco of all the fields. I, I have a, Globe Life, I by every measure I hear is phenomenal. I just haven't been. Well, the new one. Yeah. You're talking about. Yeah. I, the other one was, it was all right. But the, <laughs> I the, would, um, the new one, I, I would so offer. I, I'm not going to pass judgment on those. Wrigley is, a, you know, the problem with, Wrigley and, and the Cubs, they're stuck with it. You, you can't fix it. All the problems with Wrigley are now just summed up. Well, it's an old stadium. So yeah, you, the, the seats are, are awful. And yeah, there's obstructed view. And yeah, all the other stuff. You're doomed to have to deal with a, a, with, a, with an antique. With the Cubs. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing. And the same thing with Fenway. You can't touch the place. You can't improve yeah, on it. It's one of those like you inherited something from a family member, and it's like, well, this fridge, you know, is is kind of clunky and not really working. And, and, and you, so, you, yeah, you have to rely on so, the legend that is. And I guess that's a good thing as an as a like if you own the Cubs, <clears throat> you'll never have to invest in a new stadium because God forbid you change it. So you you immediately make more money that way. And if you are a an Astros or a Rangers, you got to build a new stadium every now and again, and people ain't coming back unique in that sense that like some of the history people just refuse to let you know fall completely into the past i didn't want to say this is not an ad but um because you brought up the t-mobile uh name for for seattle stadium t-mobile park uh for t-mobile customers if you did not know i i know this because i am one you get mlb tv for free every year that is a huge perk to being a, and i say that because the it's like we're like 10 days away from the offer coming out so like if you want to watch games at other places, you can do so. With them. And it's a free thing. Like, What a cool thing. What a cool gift. It's cool. And that is an unpaid, unpaid endorsement. Um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't even an endorsement. I just want right. people to be able to have free things. The best football stadium you've been to? 
Mm, I might put Pittsburgh up there. Uh, Heinz Field at the time. I loved the trip. That was when I saw PNC Park. We, we drove past it. I absolutely loved it. I mean, I loved the whole just vibe of Pittsburgh. Like, sports town, we were there. It was mid-November. It wasn't super cold. Like, it just felt like right. a, a passionate fan. I also, something I love about Pittsburgh is um, how all of the primary teams share the same color scheme. Um, That's really cool. What about just not not history and, and quality of team, but just facilities? What's the, the best facility the, the you've most, been to? The most elaborate building I've ever been in is Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. A- Atlanta was is, front and is center. Gorgeous. They really was. Yeah. That, that, that football stadium w- was truly next level. And one of the things that about Atlanta that isn't discussed enough is Blank's attention to keeping the you know your concessions at a reasonable rate. They they lead the league, and you know they've got a dollar menu that is truly dollar popcorn, dollar coke, dollar dog kind of thing, which is overlooked when you look at that. And you combine that with, with th- that just beautiful facility. I haven't seen any anything nicer. And this, but I'll, I'll tell you this: of all the stadiums I've been to, and I've been to probably three quarters of the stadiums around the league now. Um, Cowboy Stadium is. SoFi is yeah. next level, but as far as viewer experience in a full building with that screen, there is no better experience. There's not. I don't know about that. There, it's it's fine, but even the like modern quality of it has. I, do you know it's 15 years old? I, I agree, and, and there and I it mean, spent its first 10 years kind of like everybody thought. Well, you know, the, there's not a lot of fun in here. It's so big and all this stuff, that, and it's it's improved over the last five or six. But I'll tell you, as far as fan experience. As far as amenities, as far as the screen and everything else, this isn't just my cowboy. It, it is a hell of a place to go see a, a, an event. Lambo is also awesome in its own way. I would I would offer. But Lambo um, goes with Fenway and you know Soldier Field it's and way the more, Rose Bowl. It's way more updated though. But it's, it's still way you more can't updated. do much more than what they've done. But it's classic, and that's what I I like about it. Like it, it it's legit. I do want to say on the subject of Atlanta, um, we went. I always forget his name, and that's a jerk move on my part. Um, Jason had a friend, I don't know if you remember his name, that we met up with uh, one yeah, night when we were in stadium. Atlanta. Yeah, well, we went and we had dinner at like Shaq's restaurant right. or whatever it was. But I, I love the new wave of things where it's like you build a complex or whatever around like Texas Live in, in Dallas. And so they have that. I'm sure there's a name for the whole setup in Atlanta. And it all kind of feeds in. There's like apartment complexes up by the Braves. like. I love stuff like that. Like I love ballparks in general, but if you can tell me it's a one-stop shop, there's bowling alleys and top golf and movie theaters and restaurants galore. Um, and who, you know, there's cornhole and washers happening and there's the ballpark. That's a really fun, you know, kind of overall weekend, not just an individual game. Austin FC has capitalized on that. That domain area where they built is very much representative of what you're talking about. And, uh, Spurs fans, uh, that's imminent here. Uh, as the Spurs look mm-hmm. at that new location where the Institute of Texan Cultures is right there on the corner of Chavez, uh, that's the intent, you know, to attach it to the convention center and have exactly all of that. The, the last mile apartment, food, drink, and casino all, uh, and stadium and casino at some point too, I think would be built into it. Um, that's our votes. Uh, this is going to be a, a, an interesting day for the Dallas Cowboys. I'm not sure how much the expectation is, but I'll tell you what, the first signee for the Dallas Cowboys going to have some press at their front door. <laughs> They're going to get the front and center treatment for sure. I can't wait to see who actually gets to be the first Dallas Cowboy free agent signee from outside the building. I'm sure the Blitz will have everything required for that and all things else. Any last words, RJ, as we head into a hump day? Face first say- like Kate Middleton. Everyone drink water and Rob catch up because tonight is episode three of the current season of Survivor. Uh, RJ, I've been recording. I might very well just do that. And we there will we discuss go. that and many other things tomorrow. Hey, y'all be cool. Play nice with each other. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. This has been The Huddle.